بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hello everyone and welcome to This is Football Welcome to another stream Ladies and gentlemen Yes, we are here, habibis You get me? Sad day for football You know, but we're here We don't hide uh, You know And uh, yeah, big up to all of you guys uh, We're here, we don't hide Episode 73 of Al-Ahwa It's gonna be a long ass show Make sure you guys are liking, make sure you guys are subscribing to This Is Football if you're ready to do so. And uh, yeah, I don't want to keep interrupting the show to say like and subscribe, so just like do it right now. Um, let me introduce today's panelists. First and foremost, you get me, 3-0 winner against Brighton, um, top of the league currently. Moroccan fraud, Dennis Bergkamp's book behind him. Man like Saad, how are you doing, Habibi? We are top of the league, so we are top of the league. We are top of the league, so we are top of the league. You frauds. Sing I told again, you guys. If you're a man, if you're a man sing I it again. I told you guys. You know, if you're a you man, sing it again. If you're a man, you know sing am, it again. No, 100%. We are top of the league, so we are top of the league. But anyway, do you know what I do want to sing? Yeah? What I do want to sing is a certain song, yeah? Samina, mina, eh, eh, waka, waka, eh, eh. Any million down the drain and Nunes miss again. Samina mina eh eh waka waka eh eh eighty million down the drain and Nunes miss again. Ah uh, wait, we are here, top of the league, man, top of the league. I hey, listen, big up to everybody in the chat, man. Big up to Hassan for dropping points against Manchester United. Big up to Staffy for doing his job. Now it's now it's passed over to me. And I have to now do my job. Um, yeah, listen, good times, man. Good times. I can't lie, man. I'm smiling. Uh, Hassan, would you do me the favor of just playing that clip of me and Arteta? You know the clip that we always play. Which clip? Full screen. I'm... Let me see it. Bro, say that again with your chest. I believe my gaffer. He will win this league for me. And what happens if he doesn't? What? Happens... I believe my gaffer. And he will win this league for me. Inshallah. Inshallah. God's willing, he will win this league for me. Now, what I'm going to say is you lot need to smash that like button firstly. Yeah? You lot need to smash that like button. You need to subscribe to This Is Football and everybody else in here. Yeah? On the panel. Make sure to get that done for us. Also, don't be frauds. Don't be frauds. Get involved. Send super chats. Get involved. We want to get your takes. We want to get your feelings. We want to get your thoughts. So make sure to just put in them super chats, bro. We want to speak to you guys. We want you guys to be involved. This is what Ahwa was, was built off of. Us talking like we're, we're, we're friends and, and brothers just talking in a coffee shop. And maybe somebody gets involved. Somebody on, a, on another table in the coffee shop. Says, hey, you guys are talking about football. You talk about Liverpool bottle in it, yeah? Hey, let me let me get involved. Let me get involved. Let me get involved. Yeah. Don't don't yeah, even bring that up, Jara. Don't even bring that up about he predicted. Yeah, I mean, this is introduction, this guy, yeah. bro. Yeah, is this, this is guy, introduction, yeah. Khalas, enough. I don't know why that is. there is a certain guy he drew to Sheffield. He's laughing in the background. Alhamdulillah. Anyway, uh, joining me on the channel next, we work our way down through the table. You get me. This guy beat Crystal Palace. By four goals to two. Slap them. Kevin De Bruyne is back. <sighs> Joining me on the channel is the guy that's about to give me the biggest headache in my... There you are. Did I just lag out? Am I back now? Yeah, I'm you back. did. Um, I anyway, seal, bro. I seal. Take my headache. nuts. Uh, no, hold on. I seal. Take my fucking nuts out your mouth, you bitch. This guy. Oh, he sounds he's boring. He sounds annoying. You stink of Chelsea, bro. That's what you stink of. You bottom feeder. Low life. Well, like, this guy actually, I, he gives me the vibe somebody that hasn't left their house he's for fucking five fan. weeks. Well, like, even worse, bro. Even worse. You're yeah. sitting here with charges. Anyway, joining us on the channel is the guy that's going hey, to give me the some headache shame. of my life. Man, like Hamza. How are you doing, brother? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm good. I'm doing good. I'm here from Madrid. If you want anything on Madrid, if you want anything, any present, chocolates, sweets, cakes, let me know. 
I'm in Madrid. I don't know where I you're going. I want to turn down the TV in I'm the in background. Madrid. That's what I want. I'm in, I'm, in London, I'm in London, brother. I'm in London. Yeah, I want to turn down the TV in the background. We're, 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 England, anyway. we're, we're, play, we're playing we're playing, we're playing, we're playing by Munich at home. We're in London, yeah? We're not going away yet. But if you if you want to know how to get to Munich, I'll let you know. Don't worry about it. I've been there. I listen, don't worry. Listen, I I can find my way. I'll find my way. Hold on, Hamza. I'll find my way. I'll find my way to Madrid soon. Don't worry. I'll find my way to Madrid soon. When they dunk on you, I'll find my way to Madrid. Don't worry. They'll dunk on you soon because you'll leave the chances like you did to Crystal Palace. And don't worry, we'll find you soon. Don't worry. I'll find my way to Madrid soon. I'll be in the same hotel you're staying at. Give me the name and I'll find it on Google. Allah. Scary. Yeah, big up to you, Hamza. Hamza, whoever in the background has the TV on, tell them to turn it off. Um, next up in fourth place, get me. He tore down the forest today by three goals to one. Hello, Jacob. How are you doing, brother? Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. And uh, yeah, Mickey van der Veen. Mickey van der Veen. So my center back, quite the quite the guy. Um, I don't know what that mug is. That's a United back line. The academy of Man United back line, Kobe Mine on and and, and, and Kambawala. I don't understand. Oh my god. No, no, well, well, like, this guy's already started, bro. He's already I haven't started. even heard the intros yet. <laughs> Not even the intro. <laughs> Hey. Okay. Are we done, Jacob? Uh, Anything else you want to say? Yeah, to I, I think that cup said enough for me. There you are. There you are. Anyway, um, next, you get me, is the guy that didn't believe in his own team. I believed in his own team more than him. You get me. 5 0 to Liverpool was his prediction. But 2 2 draw is a good result for them. This is how the mighty have fallen. Man, like Staffy is in the building. How are you doing, Staffy? I notice how every time they can't beat us, they say, oh, the mighty has fallen. Oh, it's a cup final for them. Stop it. Get some help. Seek some help. You're sitting here with one win against the top six this season, which came against Villa. And you're mad at me. Don't be mad at me. I'm not mad at you at all. I'm not. I'm smiling. Your front line. Your front line had 14 shots. Our one shot, and we was one one at the time. It's a, it's a joke. It's a joke. Our first shot came from the. Don't you know who I'm mad at, Staffy? I'm mad at Hamza because I know he's about to say that was insane shit. Well, I, oh, I, I am ready. I don't smart. I'm to make it to deep. I'm to make it camel. I'm out of here. He's gonna give me the biggest headache. Don't do my tired right now. All right. You need it, and I'd like to sit next to Hamza today. It's me and Hamza. Listen. We will reorganize it. Don't worry. We're 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 opponents. But there's certain days where me and Hamza become friends. And it happens on rare occasions. Today was one of them. Sad. I heard you tried to call me earlier. Apologies, my phone was dead and it was charging. But we are here to speak. Jacob, good win. Listen, we'll unpack a lot of what happened today. A lot of what happened today should not go under the radar. Today, we witnessed a lot of embarrassing results. We witnessed a lot of embarrassing performances. So we witnessed a lot of shocking performances if i'm being honest with you one of them did not come from my 18 year old star boy yes he is my 18 year old I'm star boy there. they told me main who because he had a bad game against chelsea as if he wasn't allowed one bad game um actually he was actually good that game off the ball on the ball he wasn't it wasn't that good but they forgot that he was 18 and they, they forgot that he was this talented and today <laughs> let me tell you something he proved it again once again, looking like the best midfielder on the pitch. And what a goal that was. You know, he wasn't, you know what, Hamza? Today, my star boy, he shined, he shined against Liverpool, the title contenders. Meanwhile, there's another star boy who cost 100 million that struggled <laughs> shot against last place Sheffield. Could never be my star boy, Hamza. Allah could never be my star boy. I don't have a star boy that struggles against Sheffield. Oh, um, okay. I actually just mute. realized who the shot was yeah. at. Actually, perfectly. You're on mute. Last guest. Get me, guys. Ziad has a lack of professionalism. So he told me like 30 minutes before the show he couldn't make it. But up, step up, you know, Didier Drogba from Wish is here. You get me? And uh, 
every so time be, oh, so like because he's black you guys he have come in here la, la, let me tell you something you guys know how when you're the host on stream yard you can see everyone right bro every time you guys make an insult he's laughing at me i'm thinking you have some shame you drew to sheffield wallahi yeah, aib wallahi yeah, aib you laughing is aib aqsam billah anyway man like ahmed isn't building how do you ahmed brother tell me talk to me brother talk to me talk to me this is an average tuesday for me so you know i mean it's, it's, it's you know what i mean it's, i'm 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 used to this, but listen, man, big up to everyone. Thank you again for having me. Uh, listen, man, you know what I mean? I don't even care, to be honest. You know what I'm saying to you? Just, you know, I've already... It, when the second go went in, I moved on. So, you know what I mean? Just here, just here to not defend anyone. You know, you know why I feel bad for you, Ahmed? Listen, I've been yeah. in the mud all season, so it's okay. Like, you know, like, I, I, I can't hold that. You know, I mean, you've been in the mud too, don't get me wrong, but I'm, I'm used to yeah. it at this point. This poor guy, bro, this poor guy. Just picked up a result less than three days ago. It only lasted three days, bro. And and you would think, you know how we always said, like when you pick up a big result, you have to follow up with a win or, or else it's meaningless. This guy, God gave him the best chance in the world. He was like, you know what? I feel bad for these guys. Halas, yalla, chef. Doesn't get easier than that. That's the easiest way to get back-to-back -back wins. This guy said, nope, hold this. Let me show you what we what we're about. And then they drop points to Sheffield. Sheffield United. I can't United. lie. I don't co-sign this. Chelsea can rest in peace. I can't in lie. That's not how we start the Ahwa. Team. If we have Salamani, Kwanzaa is a liability and a mistake, and we have conceded. Anyways, Main was on the ball. Now Garnacho. But said, is it uh, the? knew. Uh, my prediction is going to be a straightforward. I'm glad you enjoyed that, Bio. My prediction is going to be a straightforward, um, you know, 2 2 is my prediction for this game. I think we drop points. I think this game ends in a draw. You know, guys, this, this stream is going to make history if actually his predictions are right. This stream is going to be history. It will never be forgotten. You know perfecta, perfecta, 120 euros, inflada con un barómetro a 8 bares, la cancha no tiene un solo pozo, el alto tiene 7 metros 20 por 240, te aplauden cuando salís a la cancha, la concha de tu madre no sabes parar una pelota, le vas a pagar, le al arco y la tirás a la mierda. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello everyone. Welcome. So this is football. Welcome to another watch along, ladies and gentlemen. Staffy, talk to me about the game. Will we have the same scenario of the FA Cup game again? 5 0 no, Liverpool. There's no way you actually believe that. <laughs> There's no way you actually believe all right, that. All right, I actually okay, three 0 Liverpool. That's that's all I have to say. I'm, I'm not. You I'm, fully I'm, give up, bro. This is the last time I'm actually taking a game seriously. That's it. For the rest of the season, bro. Okay, bro. Today I think is the one day Man City might drop points. I feel it in my guts. And then, oh, we, we, every time we play Man City, you know, form goes out the window when it's a derby. And I just feel it in my guts. Manchester United today will have to them on the and then we lose. Bro, I love This is why you're always in the, in, in the relegation zone. One hour later. You know, this is the one time I feel like, bro, stop telling us about you, you feel. Be logical and put the right prediction. liability and a mistake and we have conceded you cannot fly this i just warned i just warned about making the same mistake 
I just warned about making the same mistake. I said boss of my vanity. There we go, got an action. One Misaka, we gave them momentum, we gave them hope. And they just scored. Everyone saw that? Kofi Mainu just scores 2-1 to Manchester United. Kofi Mainu just scores 2-1 to Manchester United. It's over. It's over. Enjoy, you guys. Enjoy. Anyways, Main was on the ball. Now Garnacho. What's in? Is it the... Hey, new! Hey, new! Mano, you beauty! You and, 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 and donkeys are the same. What is the difference between you and a donkey? The donkey, you take the whip, you hate him. And, and, and the donkey's like, e or e or That's the donkey. You're a donkey. That is ridiculous. Man. That's, that's, that's the best one yet. That's the best one yet. I'm not going to lie, the meat riding oh, was wow. insane, bro. The oh, meat riding that was insane. I have never seen any of us when we get a right prediction gets mentioned so much in an intro. He was like, you know what? Let me cook Hassan, but just add a little bit so he doesn't fire me. So he keeps just <laughs> remind, reminding him of the two two prediction. Anyways, but hey, anyways. don't bite the hand that feeds you. You get me, shout out to Val. Anyway, um, let me just uh, read the, the, the super chats, uh, guys. I drew to Man United. There's a guy who drew to Sheffield. Anyone asking to put me on the bottom? Well, I have some shame. Big up to Ryan who says, congratulations to Arsenal for winning the league. They won't drop any points. We'll draw at Everton. Nunes and Sobosly, please leave my football club. This is the problem with you. This is the problem with people like you. This is why you're the biggest bitch on YouTube currently, for the same exact reason. That you're the most reactionary fucker known to mankind. Two days ago, you were asking for me to have chest when I said 2-2. Two, two. Now you're back here trying to act like, you know, you've been, you know, it's telling the people we're going to win the league. Now suddenly, khalas, it's done. Arsenal will win it. Wow. More reactionary than my ex here. Big up to Dom who says the two who lose can't be bottlers from here, in my opinion. Yeah, okay, Dom. Yalla, cover your ass. AFC, Dom. Oh, shock horror. Arsenal fan. We're top of the league. It's in our hands. Saad told me two days ago it's in my hands. No problem. Today it's in your hands. Don't bottle it then. Big up to Andrew who says I blame Klopp and Diaz and Salah. I blame everyone except Harvey Elliott. That's the only guy who deserves some credit. The rest of them Yeah, all what stand. a dive that was from him. How could you blame him? He didn't dive. Watch Hassan blame Diaz, who was once again our he best did. attacker by far, and not criticize Salah, who put in another stinker covered by a penalty. Bro, who told you I've criticized Diaz only? This is the thing, bro. Like you do, like you, you could have just went back to my watch along, watch the last thirty minutes. I criticized everyone except Harvey Elliott, literally, because he actually made an impact when he came on. Uh, big up to AMT, who says the voiceover was hysterical. That's what AMT says. Um, just before we get started, you guys, big up to all of you guys. Make sure you guys are slapping the like button. Make sure you guys are subscribing. We haven't even gotten to the football part yet, and there's already there's already 1,500 people in here. I know you're here to collect the Hussam tears and all this shit, but make sure you guys are liking on your way in. Mods, keep pushing the likes, because we can't have 1,500 people in here, and we ain't even on 300 likes yet. This is worse than Liverpool clinical nest today. So hit the like button. Subscribe to This Is Football if you're yet to do so. You get me. All the Man United fans are out there caves. I told you, remember the name, Kobe Main. Oh, you scored against us. Wow. Congratulations. So did fucking Luton. Staffy Rashford uh, is a hypocrite, I think he means. Wait, was Rashford not injured? Why is Rashford a hypocrite? I don't understand what that means. Follow up with another. Uh, okay. I thought the guy wasn't... Uh... Spam, make a no chest Hussam in the chat. Spam, no chest Hussam. Yeah, no chest Hussam right right now. Anyway, like the video, guys, and subscribe. I was right. I told you so. I told you we want to win the league. 
Don't worry, man. We, we got something for them. Man. The we Don't got something for them. Man. The right, okay. Don't no worry, we got something. Let's go to the guy in first. the chat now. Right, no okay, let's go to the guy who, who said he'll lose five. Oh no, go ahead, God. stop it. No chest, Hassan. Do you want to tell them to talk or no? Or no? Yeah, let, let, let me talk more. We got something yeah. for them. First of all, Why you can sit here and brag about your, your prediction so much. Here's the thing. You're bragging about the prediction when the game didn't go uh, the way you predicted at all. Everything you said will happen didn't happen other than the actual result. You said that we're going to park the shit out of the bus, that the injuries are going to benefit us. We're going to sit back and you're going to guys going to fight it hard to score against a low block. That didn't happen. We didn't park the bus. We allowed you to have shots. You had 28 shots in the game. 28, okay? You had 14 until we had our first one. So at some point, it was 14 to zero shots, okay? Your boys were just shit. It's not us because we didn't concede it. When I said we'll concede is because I knew we were going to be open like that. I knew we were going to allow shots and we're going to allow chances. It's just your fault that Muhammad Salah didn't score, that Noon is a shit, that D is a shit. You predicted a, bar, a bus to be parked, and it wasn't parked. How many more chances did you guys want? I mean, after all that, one of your goals was off a penalty. You were allowed the shots. This was a... I spoke to Das. Das said this should have been another 7-0. And I actually don't disagree with Das that much. Not necessarily that's a 7-0. But you guys had way more, to, uh, more, more than enough chances to score. Diaz missing sitters. Salah missing sitters. Diaz missing sitters. Uh, did I say Diaz? I meant to say Nunes. I, know, I don't know if I said Diaz or Nunes. All of them just missing sitters left and right. You've had way more of the ball. You had 63% possession. You had so much. You had everything in the game other than putting it in the back of the net. And I'm going to be really honest with you. I, I do want to talk about the game a little bit. Actually, before I say what I'm saying. Didn't this happen in the FA Cup game, though? And that's exactly what I warned about? No, no, but that's not what you warned us about. You said the injuries that are going to happen. You came here and said the same box. exact stuff after the FA Cup game. Liverpool this is a different game, though. We had wait, the wait. chances and we didn't put them away. You so guys didn't let us off the hook play. because you actually passed us the ball. I mean, that goal Kwanzaa gave us, you quite literally passed us the ball. We didn't do enough to win the game, to deserve to win the game. We left with a point. If it, if it wasn't Aaron one Bissaka and a stupid dive, we probably would have leave with the three points. But it doesn't dive, mean that we deserve it. A hundred percent he dived. Uh, yeah, Very bro, close. Check, check those glass. Check those glass. I think, by the way, I said the Arsenal one was a penalty, so I get to say this one's a penalty. It's the same shit. Which Arsenal one? I said the Arsenal is a penalty, so I... Oh, because he said one is a penalty. No, 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 no that, doesn't, glass, yeah. that doesn't work. Yeah, out. because footy yeah, judge more yesterday was like, not, Lee Dixon said it's not a penalty. Not I was like, then I, I was convinced. Oh, the one from yesterday. If, not, if, not, if, somebody, if somebody starts falling before their touch... He starts falling and initiates the contact with the other leg. He was touched. Jesus he was wasn't touched. touched. Anyways, anyways. What do you mean? Uh, no, he got go, contact. Yeah, go watch the replay. Go I am actually we, watching we it again it. because it's I was first thinking attack. it was a penalty and then I thought it's not a penalty. We all then did. I was convinced it's a penalty again. So I'm going to go watch it again. It, it's 100%. Which one? Penalty. The Liverpool anyways, one or the Arsenal The Liverpool one. one. Anyways, anyways, anyways. anyways. Let, me, let me just continue. Listen, the performance was diabolical. As you guys seen in the, in the intro, I had a little Ten Hag picture uh, Eric Ben Hag, Eric Ten Laden, Eric Terrorist Hag, right, sitting right next to me because this guy plays terrorist football. Our first shot, bro. You know what's? Uh, Wallah, I found it baffling. That's what I'm saying. The average person that watches sometimes. Oh, it's 100% a penalty. I just watched it. That's not even a question. Yeah, I'm ish, ish, ish. I'm ish, ish. Kulo adina magamli reh. Anyways, well, well, uh, we we uh, penalty, we we did nothing in the game. They passed us the ball. We put it in an empty net. And I had people in my chat. I swear to God, they were like, "Hold that stuff." You see, you should have believed in Ten Hag, bro. They passed us the ball. There's nothing Ten Hag did in that first goal that we scored. Listen. The performance was shit, but at the end of the day, you guys faced us twice this season. Bro, my neighbor just actually made some noise, and I thought it was another earth earthquake. I swear to God, I thought it was another earthquake. They need to relax. I'm on PTSD right now. Uh, what was I gonna say? Um, oh, the performance, fun. bro. Wallahi, I heard something like bang. I was like, is this another earthquake? Because I'm traumatized now. But what was I saying? The performance was shit, but the magic game, map sent you, it first, and I'll make sure Saad sings it. You agree, Saad? you guys? You agree? Okay, send okay. it. First. You guys faced us twice this season. Again. One of the worst versions. Yeah, I'm a more humble, but 
one of the worst versions of United in recent <laughs> years. <laughs> and you guys, listen, خلاص ما إحنا مش هنقدر نقدر اللي show oh, more <laughs> changes, <laughs> mind, more, more changes. Mind. Like, more more Actually, look at this smile. Look at Mo's no. smile. He just wants. I'm actually watching the penalty like for the hundredth time. He just wants to raise hell in this Check my Twitter, Mo. Check my 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 Twitter. Okay, let me go to your Twitter. Anyways, what I was trying to say is one of the worst versions of United in recent years. And you guys couldn't beat us once. Ten Hag's not Ten Hag. Klopp's last season is gonna be remembered that he went against Ten Hag three times and couldn't beat him once. He's gonna leave the Premier League with a losing record against Ten Hag. Ten Hag only lost okay. once. Them yes, it was humiliating. The they only he's lost. Remember one that, Staffy. We'll remember that because we'll remember that when you don't win the league. And I'll tell you, you why. remember that as a, When you as don't win the league, and Griggs said it today, and I'm going to steal it from Griggs until he uses no it No one's going to go like, yo, by the way, Klopp lost, didn't beat Ten Hag. Yeah, yeah, they'll fight. remember it because you didn't win to, uh, against us in, in, in crunch time. And I'll tell you why. And I'm going to steal this from Griggs. He'll, he'll, he'll use it again tomorrow he, uh, on, um, on A-listers. When you guys look back at your recent run, the final run, and you see where the, the, the points were dropped, You're going to see that the points were dropped to our boy, Kobe Menu. My boy scored what should have been the winner. Oh, should have been the winner if it wasn't for Aaron Bissaka. But it was good enough He's to drop points from you guys. And let me so tell you this. Now I'm talking about the, 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 the final run. When you guys, because it was in your hands until you guys met us. And now it's no longer in your hands. But here's the thing. It was in our hands when we if, played City. That's why I said it's a bad draw. Well, I, what I want to say, well, going into today, it was still in your hands. But all I'm trying to say is, if Arsenal did what you guys did in the last few games and bottled it the way you did, you guys would absolutely be cooking them. I I, I don't want to hear this whole thing about Arsenal are good, City are good, this, this, and that. You guys, in this recent form, are throwing it away. If you don't win this league... You 100% bottled it. I don't care what yeah, you guys think. Yeah, we lost it by a point ahead with nine games to go. You That's were ahead point. and you went and against you the team. I'll tell you, five you what. Five points ahead. I'll tell you, you what. Five I, points, they were, thank points you, ahead of me. Five thank points you, ahead when, when you had respect. to play the next day. Don't be shameless. Thank you, Don't Sad. be shameless. Sad. And you know what, Sad? Five points and seven points We were never five Remember? points clear ahead. Sad, if, if I played Sad's team today, 1,000%, they would have put us to the sword. If I played Hamza's team today, They would 100% put us through the sword. You guys didn't. You've had a couple chances. That's twice in about three weeks. And you guys couldn't put us through the sword. Sad is going to see me on the second so to last day of the season. The league, you say it's a narrative. That's the point that I don't get. Excuse me? Why oh, when man. I say, like, we won't win the league, you say I'm running an underdog narrative? Well, but you were, but you, your team bottled it. You should have been winning. That's the point that I'm trying so to make. So everything you, I said is you, happening, but apparently it's a narrative. It's not that it's a narrative. You should have been good enough to win this game because you were good enough to create these chances. Yeah, Habibi, we should have been You're going to look at these players. Listen, if we you don't win it, enough fair enough. We should have been good enough to beat Luton away. We should have been good enough to hear beat Brighton away. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. So if, it's not a he, narrative. It's Mitch, listen to me. Mo, Mo, I'm not saying Hossein bottled it. I'm saying you guys bottled it. Because if you yeah, he covered his then, ass from the beginning of the season. I, I, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if that's what he was doing, then fair enough. Khalas. No, no, Mo. That's what I'm saying. If he was doing that from the beginning, but he actually saw Khalas, fair enough. I can't get into his head and yeah, actually, actually know if he believes it. That's what I'm saying. It's not a narrative. It's reality. But 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 here, but here's the thing. Anyway, you that, your own club's downfall. Yeah, listen to shit. me. I get what you're saying, but that doesn't take away from the fact I, I will that you guys you now, Hussein, were good enough. So many more. Go ahead. So many more. But and and Khalas, I'm I'm wrapping up anyways. I'm just saying. I'm I'm saying is like I get what you're saying. But that doesn't take away from the fact that you guys were good enough to win it. But you are doing things right now that you weren't doing earlier. When you guys were winning with these kids, scoring all these goals, and Salah was out injured or was in AFCON and all that stuff that was going on, you guys got all the praise. And it actually showed that these players are good enough to do it for uh, uh, Klopp, even when the, the best players are not back. Most of the best players are back, and you guys are doing this. 28 shots. And not beating us is unforgivable. When it's looked back at, and you're going to see that this is the game that cost you, you will 100% look at these players and be like, listen, I didn't believe in them, okay, but they still the bottled game. it. How they 100% bottled it. I'm not, it's a bottle job. That's what I'm it is. I'm not going to be looking at this United game. Why are you Why are you making it about this one specific Cause, game? Because this could potentially be the last time you drop points. That's what I'm trying okay, to say. Well, but you see, this is where me and you will disagree. 
right now you think you'll drop more that's fine when i bet we're gonna drop points again I, I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. Because the yeah, four man, run, I'm point. not going to... That's why it's not narrative. All along, I've been... I've been no, no, this to be awesome. fair, this is what Mo was saying. You were saying you that for... You want to league with Diaz, Nunes, and Gakpo? No, no, but see, you were... Even when you were on a good run, you were still saying the same thing. That's yes, why Mo was kind of... Exactly. Even when I was right ahead, now. I was saying we lose. I'm gonna tell that, you why that wasn't just. I'm going to tell you why I call him out. Because I'm not going to be long. If, if anybody, anyone that called Arsenal bottlers last year, right... Don't have the right to say that I told you so. The reason why none of us and no one in the world predicted Arsenal to win the league last season. However, when they had seven points out of Man City and they lost the league, at that time they were given a chance. But Sam and the beginning of the season might have said we aren't winning the league because in, because we haven't signed a DM, but he didn't put into factor that Indo will be performing like this. So that mm -hmm. Indo has been better than Caicedo. That's fact. I don't think anyone here disagrees with this. As a DM this season, Indo has been better than Caicedo. So basically, they signed a better Caicedo. Okay? Just for this season. Can and I rebuttal that? They were, okay, let me points. just finish. Let me finish and then you can okay, rebuttal right. whatever. I'm going to uh, write go, You want to go point by point? Yes. So I don't... Uh, go ahead. Fadal. It's better. Okay. Like Enzo. Uh, what's his name? Long. Enzo, yes, Enzo. has performed better than Caicedo this season. But that's because of who he's surrounded by and the club that he's at. Very simple. If Caicedo played for Liverpool Football Club, we'd be five, six points better off. So, okay, so you think Caicedo playing for Liverpool would be performing better than Caicedo, better than Indo now? Yes, 100%. Assu okay, okay. My response to that, assumption. Yes. Fact, assumption. No it's hindsight. The fact, it's hindsight. Uh, uh, it, it was an assumption at the start of the season anyway, Aslan, when I said it. But you didn't assume that Indo will play like this, so that is a factor that you didn't put Yeah, but then that's why in January I changed exactly. more. Okay, that's my point. So you got your response. By the way, it's fair and it's a conversation, and I hear it that like I said would have performed five times better than Endo was he if he was coached by Jurgen Klopp. Hundred percent. Thank you. Might. That's it. That, that is my. But the second point is, you are saying that we did we're not going to win the league in the beginning of the season does not justify you being ahead and falling behind and drawing to a shit Man United and getting a point from a team that had zero shots, zero runs, zero corners. Zero everything, zero everything in 45 minutes. More, That's, more, more. The up and down we scored the goal. We zero, had zero, bro, zero. Had the zero, zero just the deep at their ground. You told me, man, you know, they're a tough team away from home. No, they weren't. They were literally with Billy Bass, bro. Billy Bass. <laughs> I swear to God, in that first half, Billy Bass, bro. They were nothing, bro. Malt in that first half, as we say in Egypt. You know what that means? They were naked. In that first half, Man United in the balcony, right? They were putting all their dirty laundry naked in the balcony. Literally, that the point of Sam is that you cannot just keep saying, I told you so. You literally had a good run, you were playing very well, right? This game might be the reason why you don't win the league, and you have to accept that. Yes, Luton is there, yes, you draw other games, yes, the Arsenal game is there, and all the stuff, but this game as well is a game that. It doesn't prove your point. This game was in your hands. It was in your hands. As I'm saying, Mo, he didn't predict. He he predicted the result based on a different scenario. This is why I'm not taking Thank your you prediction so very yes. serious. Like you predicted a, a completely different scenario. Oh, didn't play low block at all. 100. percent Did you see the spaces? Bro, bro? They were so so many spaces. Okay, Man United did not play a low block. However, the reason why I said it's going to be a draw was not just a low block. I said that Man United always turn up against us. That's the but thing. We didn't. I said that. But, 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 but where did and, we and you saw, One second, let me speak. And, and you saw they play out of their skin today. Certain players today after were the goal. For after the goal, which you guys gifted let me, us. Let me speak. Certain Allah players were fighting. Ma'alish, you're wrong. Let me respond. Ma'alish, but I'll give you 30 seconds. Just 30 seconds. I want to respond to this point before you go. Let me give you 30 seconds. Okay, there's players who will always perform extra good against us. Extra good against us. So... There's, there's like players who will come against Liverpool Football Club and play better because it's a derby. They're not just going to lay down. Can you tell the me Chelsea who? game and the Brentford game don't matter. This game matters to them. It is Man United's yeah. Cup final. Can I, can I, Same yeah. way the game last season was also Cup final. You're starting with the Saliba stuff. You're starting with the Arsenal stuff. You've worked with me long enough. So has everyone here. I was one of the few people, everyone in the chat will vouch right now, that said the reason why Arsenal didn't win the league is the Saliba injury. Yes. So I've actually been, I've been consistent yeah, from last year. It's still a bottle job. I'm not no, saying I don't think the bottle job. I think Saliba got injured. I'm saying the fans that told Liverpool they bottled the league.
cannot just say, but because we told you so, they aren't going to win the league. That's just an argument. And yeah, just but that's, know, but, but that's I want to rebuttal. I want to actually rebuttal, and Staffy can back me on this, and he can correct me if I'm wrong, and the chat can correct me. Some Man United players have had their worst games for a while, <laughs> and their best midfielder today had a shittier game than in the last 12 games. Kobe Mino. But yeah, yeah. Mino didn't have a good game, by the way. Casimiro had one of the bro. Casimiro, bro, I Casimiro did a rush for today, bro. With Casimiro did a rush for. You know how he did a rush for? Luis Diaz literally just walked past him. That's Marcos rush for shit. I think it was a gag call. Do I know? But Luis Diaz did it when he flicked it above. And, uh, Casimiro didn't want to. So that means he to be fair, play. Casimiro was decent off the ball today because he was winning a lot of his challenges. Like it's but one of his off, better off the ball games. On the transition, he literally didn't stop them doing anything. He was yeah, but that, that, that also was exactly how just so you know, everything, everything you've said at the start. And I'm going to tell you one thing. Point. Can we say you know why? Because I have said that Marcus Rashford today is Marcus Rashford was non existent, people. Marcus Rashford was non existent. I know. Sorry, say that again. Marcus Rashford was non He played against City better than even though he scored the goal against City. I love the fact that everything you guys are saying is Rashid. I like to call him Rashid, man. What what did Staffy say at the start? Staffy said at the start, this isn't Marcus Man United, bro. This is fuck yeah, Liverpool. Yeah. They didn't... They took yeah, yeah, but, but that's the point. Me and Moore My saying. whole reason why we will not win the league is that whole thing to begin with. I said, what? we don't have killers. We don't have clinical players. And in January, actually, more my energy changed. Remember when you asked me, do you think we should sign a DM in January? I said, no, we should sign a forward. I went actually to two positions. In, in May last season, I said... DM center back. In January, I said striker and center back. I said forward and center back. Because I don't trust Nunez, I don't trust Diaz, and I do not trust uh, Cody Gakpo. Now, for the people who say Salah had a bad game today, 100% Salah had a bad game today, but just like Kevin De Bruyne, now he's excused having a bad game. It's okay because it's Mo and because he's still our top scorer in the league. The rest of them, though, it's a consistent thing across the season. This is where it's an issue for me. That's why I wanted us to sign a forward. So all of this comes back to what I said, what I've been saying on Al-Ahawaz. It's not a narrative. It's not me, uh, you know, covering my ass or whatever. I genuinely, deep down, do not believe that we will win the league. I said the only way that we win the league is if City or Arsenal drop points. That's my honest opinion. If I, I, I want to let you come in and say one thing about this point. Anyone? I just want to come in and say one thing about this game. Um, Manchester United today played like I, I know you said that they're gonna get hyped up and they're gonna get revved up for this game. Manchester United out there played like a bunch of individuals. There was, was no after the goal, team. Yeah. There was, was there was no after. team cohesion in that first half. Nothing. They were just, everybody was just like, let me try to save my own ass. So let me just, as soon as I get the ball, I'm going to try and pass it to the next person. It's their problem. It's not my problem. It's their problem. They're not covering space. They're ball watching. They're all playing like individuals in that first half. The second half, they get that they get that um, goal from Kwanzaa, the mistake that from Kwanzaa, whenever it happened. As soon as that mistake happened, it a switch flicked. And all of a sudden, Man United woke up and they were like, oh, you know what? These guys have been been clarting off our goal, but it's not uh, only one shot's gone in. Bro, I think we can actually do something. We might be able to hold hey, man, that big goal. Him, exactly. And then, and, and then, and then, literally, a moment of brilliance from Kobe Mainu, who was having a bad game to his standards that he's set. He wasn't having the best of games to his standards that he's set as a youngster, bro. And he's 18, so I'm not even going to go into him, bro. He's, he's a youngster, so he's allowed to have these bad games because he's an experience. But Liverpool today were absolutely shocking. Salah, Nunes, Diaz, Soboslai. Soboslai shouldn't even be allowed on the bus, bro. What the fuck is that, bro? Like you you, you missed so many shots. So many shots. That should have been... Uh, Salah should have had two or three assists. Bro, I told them, Wallah, this guy's from, Bruno with a dentist, bro. He's, a Bru he's Bruno with a dentist. That's it, Wallah. Bro, Wallah, it's he's crazy. Bruno with the dentist. I, Actually, I can't no, lie. Bruno this is... Today. This... this <laughs> and Salah had right easier here, chances yeah. to score. <laughs> like... This this right here was this right here was was just let's hope that Liverpool f up, and we can just we can just keep this draw going because at the end it was just it was just inshallah they won't score, ya Rab, they won't score please, they won't score if we just if we just sit back and we just relax and we just try and and kick everything out. Yeah, that's been our problem though. We don't the have killers, man. We just don't have killers. No, no, no but but mm. this is the thing. 
because because Salah needs to be trusted. You know you have the problem with Jesus. Because imagine three Jesuses. That's my club basically. No, but yes, okay, no, but but different. you can't Your say players that. Your players are more clinical than Jesus. Nunes, you can't say that when Nunes when Nunes has got however many goals and assists in the league. He has a you lot more than that. Jesus, bro. You can't say that. And 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 I don't Diaz rate him, sad. Goals. sad. I don't rate him, but he's better than Jesus when it comes to being in front of a goal. I'm sorry, bro. That's not a good Jesus, Jesus this season has been underwhelming to say the le- to say the least. Bro. Let me check. No, yeah. big time. So sad, uh, sad. Diaz put it to him. You guys left the better way. I feel like uh, Diaz is overhated by your fan base. He literally put it on a plate exactly for Nunes on the back post, and he completely missed the target. What is the? I understand Diaz is not the best finisher. Diaz does so much on and off the ball outside of just finishing that I would understand if that's not his best attribute. He's not even a striker, so it's fine with me. The fact that Nunes but missed that sitter. Jesus for me. That's the thing with Jesus for me. But, Jesus but he, is not a striker the, for me. Jesus is a, is a forward. He can play under the wings. I don't judge him for goals. The, that's, the that's issue the is that Jesus wants to play the nine, I, but I, he gives you everything. Can I just ask a quick question about Nunez? Because the Diaz thing, I'll get to it in a second. Sad. how many goals do you think Nunez has in the Prem? Just give an estimate, Adi. You don't have to be accurate. I'll say 10 Seven. to 12. 11. You know how many big chances Misty has? That means nothing. He's got 11, though. 24. He's got 11 goals. Yeah, that's that's fine, but he's got eleven goals though. That's that's what do you, that's, mean? That's, what do you that's, mean? It's fine to have twenty four big chances missed with eleven goals. Well, no, I no, but he's not the only he's not only forward in there. You have other forwards. Yeah, but... Oh, I understand. All I'm fair. saying is I'm not he's, blaming he's him not, alone. You lot are talking. All I'm saying is 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 some people talk about Nunes like as if he's dog shit and he's got two three goals to his name and and he's just sitting and missing chances left right and center and he's he's only got uh, goals that I can count on one hand uh, that's all i'm saying but no no okay. i just he's think not dog shit, but he's not premier league winning material oh listen yeah. that's that's just going to be found out um, at the end of the season i just want to say something quickly obviously you know i'm not going to talk too much about my predicament but i will say yeah uh, the goals that united <laughs> scored yeah <laughs> If they, you know, what I mean, they scored right, but you, Liverpool. I just think for me, Liverpool had more than enough chances to put the game away, like such that even if you let them score those two goals, you could have, you still would have gone, 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 gone out that game with the three points. It's just that you know, you just did a Chelsea up front, couldn't put the ball. They the really did, it. bro. They really did. That's what. That's what. That's, what, that's it really was in what their hands. That's guys, all man. I'm trying to say, bro. Yeah, that's man. All I'm and. To say. And I want to say something, you know. Only difference uh, is I don't get my manager oh, well, when my players miss chances. That's listen, all, uh, all I'm going to say yeah, also is, you know, Ten Hag, he's the one that said eras come to an end. Seems that he's ending, you know, class era of our Premier League. So, big up to him as well. <laughs> listen, if Arteta wins it, uncomfortable conversations. That's all I'm saying, That's bro. crazy, man. That's, don't I'm let not Arteta it's crazy. tie him on his last season. Don't. I'm mm. telling you, don't let him tie him. Because me, you know, stuff that's sad. just basic stock. Because for me, I'd rather Arsenal win it than City. I know, and I want Arsenal to win it too. But then that would just make you the Arsenal ultimate bridesmaid. That would just mean you're the ultimate bridesmaid. You know what I mean? Just stop, Hassan. Jacob. Just stop. I'm not gonna stop shit. I don't want them to win four in a row. Arsenal, no, just, my rival. all these last few weeks, it's just all been wham, wham. Hassan from the oh, we don't, oh, I'm gonna predict a draw because you know, oh. And, but you never give ten hog props. You know, you, you're too afraid to step up into the stage where the where the light is shining because you're afraid you're going to wet yourself. Just have some confidence. Have some confidence in yourself. It's still in your hands. It's still all in your hands. You can still win the league by just doing your job, which was the case prior to this. It's just continual disappointment. Factually, from Liverpool. it's not in our hands. Factually. You Technically, score more goals if you, than, if you, you win if you, all your games, you score more goals than Arsenal. Score more goals. It's in your hands. Yeah. If, if score you score more goals, hold on, hold on, Jacob. <laughs> he's, saying, he's saying it's not. That's in what I'm hands. saying. It is. It is literally in your hands. So at, by you saying that, it's not. It's just situation. Not even factual. My brother, sorry, we, sorry, we had a goal difference of two against we, Sheffield United. Sam, Sheffield. If we if we actually look at the situation, he's not talking about Sheffield, man. You have an easier run. Right in a way. You have an easier. You have an easier. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You have an easier run. In my you are also in the Europa League. Manchester City and Arsenal are Being both in the, the Europa League. League is a negative. Okay. You saw that first hand last season. Don't lie now. Yeah, the Champions League is difficult, is it not? Yeah, is really. Not and does Klopp play league? my so bench or my starters? That something does to Klopp play the Arsenal bench or the starters in the Europa? Go on. Sorry? Does Klopp play the bench or the starters in Europa? 
That's regardless. Whatever your your manager no, that's does. Regardless. regardless. We were bro. 11 4 up against Sparta Prague. He played Mohamed Salah. I'm supposed to think like, oh, Europa League. Okay. Do you know? Do you know why he played Salah? Salah is because he played him because he needs to get minutes in him, bro. He could just come back from an injury. What do you want him to do? Throw him fresh off into Manchester City or whoever it was that you were playing on the weekend. Sad, I don't like hypocrisy. Bro. You cannot tell me There's last no week. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you where you you specifically are being a hypocrite. Three days ago, you were on this very stream telling the whole world it's in Liverpool's hands. Factually, now, factually, it's in Arsenal's hands. Factually, I no so no. I be a man I and come here and say it's in no, Arsenal's hands. No, that's fine. I think it's in Arsenal's hands now. Okay, Hundred percent. Perfect. It cannot be in both no, our hands. No, all I'm saying, no, no, it's but for so all so I'm anymore. saying. All I'm saying is there's an argument to be made about why it's still in your hands. There's an argument there to be made. That's all I'm saying. Sorry, Jacob. Can we Jacob make up a goal difference of nine in seven Jacob. games? Well, like Jacob was saying something. Let's let Jacob. Yeah, uh, Jacob was saying Hussam doesn't uh, has no confidence in his team. Yeah, he's right. I don't. We're not gonna win the league. I've given up already. You've been doing way. this all yeah. season. It's like Good luck bro, to us. you've been top of the league, it's been in your hands, and you're just doing this whole weird like too too afraid to to dance first on the dance floor just have some have some confidence in yourself have some confidence in your manager i thought you were doing the whole this is Klopp's last ride and we're supposed to hurrah and I never it's going to be it. open bus parade mm. i just find it weird how you know you can only get what two points off united they've been pretty woeful this season that's crazy to me I agree. It's absolutely crazy. I find do you think you beat talk Spurs? About, bro. Yeah, let, well, yeah, let's talk go. about Conference. Do you think you beat Spurs when, when Spurs go to Anfield? I want to keep my Miller's goal, man. I, I, I want Hamza to talk, but before Hamza oh, talks, I want to tell him something. I, I want to give him some info. We haven't even Hamza, before, before Hamza goes, Hamza, 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 we haven't even spoken about the penalty. For like, no, no, fuck penalty, the penalty, bro. But, it's not a penalty. 100% it's not a penalty, yeah? Sad. Honestly, sad. Well, I don't even give a shit anymore. Let them think what they want, bro. Because if it was against them, sir, do you know what they would say? When he won the ball first. PGMOL, we need apology tomorrow from PGMOL. These uh, fuckers should not um, referee another game in the league. I know, bro. They would have said that, bro. Like, it they only said, happens when it's... Playing, Liverpool. Ban him, ban him. Let yeah, yeah, yeah. Him. Wallahi, bro. <laughs> I hope... I remember what he said about the, the Spurs uh, referee. Uh, your mom should have swallowed... I, 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 I remember all that. But it only happens when it's for Liverpool. Anyways, I just want to go so to Hamza. Hamza. What happened against Spurs? Crazy, bro, when man. I had a player sent off wrongly. No, 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 no. I'm not comparing. I'm saying you guys only. Split. It wasn't. When it, those were very fairly sent off. Very fairly sent off. Keep crying. I'm not keep comparing. Crying. They were very fairly sent off. Now you're just waffling. I'm not comparing the incidents. I'm, I'm just saying when 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 the referees go against you. I'm just saying when you guys the referees go against you, you speak. When the referee doesn't go against you guys. You guys just stay quiet. Anyways, Hamza, I want you to speak, Hamza, okay. but I want to remind you one. That's yes. on Harvey Elliott's right leg. It's a penalty. No, he no. didn't. No. It wasn't. It wasn't. No, he didn't. It wasn't. Hamza, it's Hamza, I just want to say, and please defend Palace, your guy, okay. Erwin Bissaka, from, from Palace. I know he's from your ends. From, oh, oh, but, but Hamza, I want to remind you, Hamza, in, that in Klopp's last season, not only did they not beat us, they have one win against the whole of the top six, and it was against Aston Villa. Yeah. Go ahead, Okay, let me start. Listen. <sighs> Klopp came out in January, gave us a speech, as if we're going to feel sorry for you, whatever it is. Yeah, he planned. I know he planned it. He planned it. He planned it, bro. I told you. Why would you say you are leaving in January, bro? You say in May, if you're a big guy, you say, yo, I lift it. I'm gone, guys. I'm done it. That's he started. He he started. You know, that's how you do it. When I said it in May, I never thought, I sat down, I thought, yo, this man is saying in January, why? Because he knows he's defeated. He's defeated. He's a man looks defeated. Yeah. And they say to us all the time, oh, he's the greatest money. He's one of our greatest managers in the world. Yes, he's one of your greatest managers. But we never saw you for enough. 30 years we grew up. All of us can sit down here on the table alive. Chat about, ah, oh, guys, talk about football memories. <laughs> I'm not bringing any of Sam's memory in Premier League. <laughs> I'm laughing at you. I'm saying, yo, Sam, come on, Close the door. Close the door, Sam. Please don't come to the room. Well, I don't come. You're not in that conversation because that's what I can say. I can bring kids here and give them a primary school and they can put their hand on say, Hamza, tell me. Back old, I can tell them about Arsenal against Chelsea. I can tell them myself. Oh, my God. I can tell them United, how they haunted me. To you, <laughs> They'll say, what about Liverpool? 
I said, yeah, yeah, close the door, man. These guys were a bunch of nothing or some. This is why you always, brother, oh, we're the biggest club in the world. We're the biggest club in England. Biggest to who? Go and tell the 70-year-old, 8-year-olds, fine, I'll, I'll accept it. But you call, talk about our generation, we never saw you. It sounds fine. Klopp only gave that speech because he was defeated. He knew. Ateta, boy. I trained Ateta. I gave him. He didn't finish his badges. But I said, yo, are you ready to go? He said, Hamza, I'm going. Hamza, I'm going to go. I'm going. I gave him my badges, you Sam. My guy was a corn man. Sam used to put cones for KDB. He used to go to opposite Etihad is Asda. He would go and get sweets for for, for, for KDB, bring them Ribena drinks and all that, refresh them. You know what I'm saying? He didn't finish his coaching badges. And he saw Ateta get in chest. <laughs> Ateta, his pep son, he thought, yo, it's getting hard here. It's getting hard here. Yeah? It's getting hard here. And then he saw Man United are having these talks are being bought. He realized, yo, I need to run. That's why I'm, and then he told me, all he does is pump chest, bro. He pumps chest. That's, that's what he's good at. Bro, you can pump chest as much as you want. I bet. Oh, look at him. He's pumping chest. Yeah, yeah. And then you all jump. Hey, hey. Get out here. Pump the chest. You ain't going the trophy. Boom. You don't claim any trophy at the end of the season, do you? You start crying. Tell, before he goes, I've got a present for him. Tell Klopp, come and collect your present. Hamza's got a heart for you from Italy, because you love stickers and all that stuff. I got you this one. I got you that and this is the nice one from Spain. And I got you this one from Switzerland. This is for him, yeah? You know, this is nice. That's your trophy, there you are. There's your trophy, see? It's making noises, like a, like a meadow, look. Come and take it, this is your trophy. And if you're not happy, Hussam, I'll give him a flower, there you are. <laughs> take your fans, take your flower. <laughs> take it to Germany, take your flower. And I've even made in this one. From a plastic bottle because you're bottling, you bottle the league. Look, I put a plastic bottle, I put water there, it's drying up. That's what Liverpool is. <laughs> you dry up, man. Come on, club. You come out here. Oh, you're gonna win the league. You're gonna win the league. This today was your opportunity. So, today was the opportunity. Weakest United team I've ever witnessed in my lifetime. Stuff, well, like that's the way. It's the weakest United team I've ever seen. The weakest goalkeepers I've seen from United. The game was way better. The weakest defense by United in history I've ever seen. The weakest midfield by United I've seen. The weakest attack by United I've ever seen. And the weakest bench. This is the weakest and the worst manager, according to Man United fans. They say, Hamza, I've never had a manager that like they come. Stuffy comes here putting his hair. Stuffy is. Going bold on the side. Look at him. <laughs> he's pulling high on the side. He's gone. Soon he's, soon he's gonna be. That is crazy. <laughs> Why this is this my hairline? My hairline looks okay, bro. Going, bro. Look at this my hairline. My How hairline looks fine. How, bro? It's going, bro. It's going, bro. Listen, I'm <laughs> he said, bro, it's going, bro. Oh, hold, it's going, hold that, Safi. Hold that. He's the worst manager. In looks the okay. This is a team that lost to Fulham. That lost to Chelsea, Chelsea Football Club. Well, like Chelsea did the Roman Dada against them. Chelsea Football Club, for some, who can be a relegation side, beat them. For some, they lost to Nottingham Forest, they lost to Bournemouth, and they lost to West Ham United. Forget about them, take me out. I beat them, but I'm not going to brag about it. They lost to that team. Guess what? What do you know? You came to this game today, you said, I'm going to beat them. You called it revenge. You called it revenge. How many times do you call games revenge and you can't do it? <laughs> you called Real Madrid a revenge. You cried. <laughs> Salah said, it's going to be a revenge. Yes. <laughs> what happened to the people in Liverpool? <laughs> you said, pay your tickets to Istanbul. You don't turn up, you fraud. <laughs> you lie. You're liars. He said, I'm going to be my United revenge for the FA Cup. <laughs> they put me like dogs and say, yo, you're nothing. Sit down the floor. With youngsters like Kabwala. I've never had this boy. Bro, I know my friends called Kabwala. I told yo, I called him. I said, Yo, Kabwala, you play for United? He said, No, he's a guy with M, Kabwala. I told yo, 
United are playing players I've never heard of in my life. Their bench was full of guys. There's no pictures. Hamza, we I just promoted a youngster to put him on the bench today because we had no left backs. Bro, I was forgot his name. Something what? Amas. Amas something. Bro, I googled Amas. I could not find this guy. I thought, yo, United I just picked up boys from Asda and Tesco of the street. Yeah, just say, yo, can you come and play for us today? Sit on the bench, lad. Yo, <laughs> that's how much they were confident against you, bozos. <laughs> against you, bozos. You, they picked up guys on the street and say, we just. We can't play in the league unless we have guys sitting there. If they saw me in the street, they could have told Hamza, just wear a red shirt, turn up there, just sit on the bench. I was ready. Hassan, three weeks ago, you cried. You cried. You couldn't even beat them now. Let's talk about Ten Hag and Klopp's record. That's very interesting. You cast Ten Hag, you say, <laughs> seven up, seven up. Let's talk about the seven up. Klopp versus Ten Hag. Klopp has beaten him once. He's lost three times to Ten Hag and drawn twice. Who's got over? Who's got? Klopp has no. He can't beat Ten Hag. He rarely beats Ten Hag. Yeah? Klopp cannot beat Ten Hag. Ten Hag is, has got everything over him. Damn, you're cussing me, but yo, I got this guy. I was like, chased him out. I chased him out of England against in Germany. Klopp probably it might be a true story that Ten Hag will be remembered. If I show kids later on and say, "Yo, you see that bold guy, bold fraud," <laughs> he chased up Klopp at this country. He really chased him out. He really chased him out because, bro, he's only beaten him once. And the thing is, the Sam today United had injuries. No left back. They had my guy Aaron Wan-Bissaka as a right back, as a left back. Yeah. Imagine, where did Aaron Bissaka play? Was he playing left back today? Was he left back? Uh, was he? I don't know. There's one, one guy. Which guy? Stop your car. Oh, Dalo sorry. was at left back. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Dalo, Aaron, Wan no, 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 no. Dalo, no, 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 right no. Was, Dalo was on the right. Wan Bissaka was on the oh, left. Oh, yes. Sorry. Yes, yes. yes United yes. had a, a pairing of Maguire and Kambawana. What well, I tell me? What well, I tell me if you can't slaughter that team? What, 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 what do I need to do for you? Well, Hamza, he's a he's a he's a twenty year old yeah. French academy player. Bro, they had bro. Imagine Kambawala and Maguire partnership, and they could not beat that. Yeah, and then Hussam comes here today. Shovels like they called him. Oh, he's Hungarian KDB. Hungarian. You told us Bruno Sheru was the next Zidane. Well, I Google it. They told me well, I grew up at Bruno. Well, I they told right Bruno Sheru Zidane. They used to say their their fan base used to tell me. They told me Shobo's like the next KDB. Tell me who I compare. Who's Shobo like? Who does he play like? Andy Voronin. Andy Voronin. Oh you my Andy God! Voronin? No, right. I'm sorry, a lot of people won't remember Voronin that. Is Andy? Bro, he's Andy, okay. he's Andy, bro he's 100 percent. Shobo's like who cost 70 to 80 million. Biggest waste of money this season. The worst flop of the season in terms of money spent. Shoba's line must be the worst player this season. There's no doubt about it. Because he cost him, probably, today. He cost him today. And he could cost him the league. Nunes, how many are you going to give him? Uruguay and Andy Carroll. What's the difference between him and Andy Carroll? Allah? Well, I he just has pace. He just has exactly. pace. Exactly. All he does is run around with passion. And he says, yo, I played with Luis Suarez. But yo, you look like Andy Carroll. You play like Andy Carroll. Your legs is like Andy Carroll. Your finishing legs is Andy Carroll. You are at the carol of Uruguay. Yeah? Today, McAllister was poor. Kobe Minor showed him levels. Kobe Minor showed him levels. Again, pulled him like a dog, bro. Pulled him like a dog. I said, yo, Hamza, <laughs> this guy's a little puppy. Messi's the reason why this guy's got good. World Cup. The reason why he's got World Cup, bro. Messi, you can't give these guys Enzo and, and McAllister. Bro, they were part of the project that just... They didn't deserve to be there. And they're the biggest criminal of all. More your boy again, Mo Salah. Mo Salah. Yeah? He, this season, he turned out to be Fabio Borini. Fabio Borini <laughs> with Krusty Krab. Oh, it's Krusty Krab with the looks of Fabio Borini. Krusty Krab with Fabio Borini. This guy, it's time for him. I sent Benzema to Saudi Arabia to smoke shisha. Benzema is there. <laughs> He's doing that. 
That's how you have a seizure. Have a seizure. <laughs> it's time to go. Benzema's waiting for you. Al Nasser Al Hilal. I choose the cup for you. It's time to make your move because you're spoiling your legacy. Ten Hag is leaving you. No, Klopp is leaving you. Shabby Alonso ain't going to be here. It might be Southgate. <laughs> I'm hearing Southgate getting interviewed. <laughs> Sam, are you also being interviewed for the Liverpool job? Because we don't know your manager. <laughs> you, don't attract, mud. you don't attract anyone as a manager when Klopp leaves. We know that fact. Because when Klopp leaves, Arsenal and Man City are running this. We're running this. It's going to be a two-way show. It's me and Saad meeting up. Saad, every Saturday and Sunday, bro, I'll link you, bro. Anytime, bro. Yeah? But you're not part of that conversation anymore, boy. <laughs> you're not part of that conversation, boy. You had your time. And we took you out. So, Mo Salah, I told you before. Sadio Mane was carrying Liverpool. Not Mo Salah. He proved it today. He proved it. Everyone tells you. Mo Salah, he does this. He does that. Bro. He was being masked by Sadio Mane and Firmino. <laughs> those were your guys. Those were your guys, bro. When those guys decided to say, hands up, it's a lie, man. This fan base, they celebrate certificates. All they do is they sing, you'll never walk alone, get certificate of participation, mm -hmm. and then they tell me, it's okay to parade it, and we have to hold certificate of participation like this. That's why they left. They said, Mane said, you're going, man. Mane left it. Firmino's gone. I'm hearing... Van Dijk wants to leave. Sana wants to go. Trent is getting lead to Real Madrid. Oh, hey! Connor Bradley will be your captain soon with Javi Elliott. You're watching that for 10 years. Hey! <laughs> Liverpool in the mud. In the mud. In the mud. Liverpool in the mud. La 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 Liverpool in the mud. In the mud. Hey, Liverpool in the mud. Emil Heskey days. Ah, oh, Emil Heskey days is back. What goes around comes around. Part two. This time we send you an adult. The sound. Now no more cartoon network. <laughs> you can't say, Mommy, I'm watching cartoons. No. <laughs> no more cartoons. You're watching Liverpool. <laughs> Saturday, Sunday, you're watching Liverpool. <laughs> you're watching Liverpool. Hey, if you don't win the league. Wallah, if you don't win the league. And you let Arteta do it. Oh, um, I have to hug Arteta. For the I'll be a problem. I have, you know he's my guy. No matter what. Arteta, I banter him. But he's my guy. You bantered he him too much, bro. Wallah. The, Deep down, the relationship, the, the relationship might be might be broken. You know, what Hamza, I mean, uh, uh, sad. If, if you guys win the league, I want to let you know. If you win the league, Hamza is going to remind everyone that he won the league because he worked with Pep. He's going to say that. I already know. They love here, but they love here. He's one of my own. He, he's here. He's he's here. He gave me Hamza. Hamza, I did it for you. I said, yeah, no, I'm I'm sorry. I can go and cry and say I'm, I tell you, I apologize. <laughs> Let my guy not win the league and say, Hamza, are you proud of me, Hamza? <laughs> this German Ranieri Hamza was selling people dreams. One league title. German Ranieri. <laughs> Hamza, you gave, he gave you one league title. I had no experience, Hamza. <laughs> Hamza, you're right. I did that. Other, but Hamza, give me credit now. Give me credit. I'm not here to brag about it. I got the league title. If at Wallahi Ateta wins the league, oh my. Wallahi Ateta wins the league. Liverpool fans have to run away. I want you to find a new sport, snooker. <laughs> Some Ronnie O'Sullivan exists now. That's your guy. Start chasing him. Because Ham Ateta Hamza is the biggest disgrace to you. Because Ham you spend money. You, you cast Ateta spend money. You criminals spend money. Only tell your family, tap 115 charges. Tap 115. 115 charges, what? You ain't gonna get a trophy. <laughs> You're spending that 115. Yo, invest in your football club to buy a trophy. 115, what? I got my trophies back home. I, you saw me yesterday, Sam. I'm telling Pep Guardiola, give me the treble. Give me the treble. <laughs> Pep Guardiola smiled as I'm so proud of him. He knows the standard is high. <laughs> Pep Guardiola knows Hamza. I am proud of you. He looked at me and smiled. He looked at me and said, Hamza, I'm proud of you, my guy. He knows I'll never accept anything with the trouble. <laughs> I'll never Hamza, Hamza, can I hold on, hold on, Hamza? No, Hamza, no, no, one I, second. Let me finish. Hold on, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Hold on. I just I just I just need to hold on. I just I just I just need to I just need to I just need to give him a bit more ammo. Hamza, uh, apparently it's been brought to my attention that last time uh, Liverpool came to uh, uh, Old Trafford, or not last time, but Nabi Keita got a goal and assist at Old Trafford, but apparently Shabbos like couldn't do that. 
Apparently, McAllister couldn't do that. Bro, okay, are you, are you done? Ammo, the ammo is there. The ammo is there, Hamza. Please. Listen, it's it's a shame, yeah? It's a shame. What has Klopp... People will question, how you've been here since 2015. 2015, your first year, you went eighth. Second season, you went fourth. Third season, you went fourth. First, fifth season, you went second. Then you won the league in COVID. No one cares. You didn't have... Yeah, no fan base saw that league title. Show me the pictures. Everyone say, show me the pictures in the in the stands. Show me. I got pictures here. I, well, I, I can go around my pictures. Say, yo, which picture do you want? Show me the pictures. And then third, and then guess what? Second and fifth. All your manager will say will be called. Yeah, someone said. Yeah, all he's known will be is he nearly won the league. He nearly won the league manager. That's his name. He nearly won the. That's what you know, Hamza, to Hamza, he put the Champions League and the Premier League together. Remember when they did that shameless picture from yes. two different years? Yes. Yeah, 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 and, they did that. and don't be the one again that 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 you come out here, Cassie Ten Hag. But you know your fake quadruple. You know the shameless quadruple that your fan base had. <laughs> you are the quadruple. Yo, that quadruple is this cup, man. It's not Champions League. You had a Europa League like this. I'm calling as a quadruple. Yo. This Europa League and this insane value, man. Tell Europa League. Know, what is that? Is that a pineapple? This is no, no. It's a, it's a bottle. I don't know why the water just turned yellow like Europa League. It looks like you know Europa League is orange. What is your friend growing? Is what is that, bro? Well, this it thing looks... is dead like Liverpool. It's dying like it's dead like Liverpool. This is what happened with it. Look, it's dead. Liverpool. This is Liverpool. <laughs> it's dead. I'm just keeping water there. Be so kind. It's just tired. It's just ran out of energy. That's all it is. Exactly, oh, okay. Sam. Sam, your last year with Klopp. I take he might be for that one. <laughs> and the last thing, last thing I want to say, yeah. There's still more. The song. <laughs> the song. Yeah. I called you. Don't be Klopp. Don't be. You nearly won the league. Yeah. I nearly won the league manager. I nearly won the league. Oh, tell me your story. I nearly won the league. That's what you tell people. Liverpool fans, they say, they say, oh, I nearly won. I was one point away. I was one point away. I was two points away. Ah, how many? You had two years. You nearly won the league. You nearly won the league. You nearly won the league. And no one's going to believe you. And no one's going to believe you. And no one's going to believe you. Ooh. Oh, my God. You nearly won the league. You, need you didn't won win the league. Oh, you nearly it. won the league. Yeah, no one's going to believe yeah, you. No one's going to believe yeah, you. Let Mo Salah not slip. Listen, let Mo Salah <laughs> I'm breaking Mo Salah. Hey, no way, man. I dare you. Do not slip like Gerard. You'll be remembered. A man will come and say, Hamza, I told you I carried them. Man, the boy from Bambali Senegal. Bambali Senegal. He carried you. Apologize. And you know what's the worst thing? He ran away from his country in the Afro. <laughs> he faked an injury. I ran away from his country to come and help you win the league. And I get a warning. What a shameless thing. In Salah. Oh. These agendas are crazy like that. These are crazy agendas. He's got Sam's head is hot, bro. Hassam's head is hot right now. I say that right now. You fake you for your country. You let the people of Egypt down. And you let the Liverpool... Let me down, Hamza. Wallahi, he let me down. This is... Listen, I love Mo Salah. Yeah? But I had to banter that. Mo, I Mo, don't try. Mo, you're laughing. He let your country down. He ran away with a fake injury. And then Kai Havertz and Ben White. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Tom Yasu, Ben White, Kai Havertz. Yeah. And then he, and then he says, yo, you did it for my country. I say, Hamza, let me tell you one more thing. Oh Hamza. My. Wait, wait, Hamza, let me know one thing. If Arsenal win the league, Hamza, Hamza. And then they and I won the league. Hamza, so if Arsenal win the league, Hamza, El Nenni and Salah have the same amount of Premier League medals. <laughs> Matching that. Nah. It's over, man. It's low. It's over. It's very okay. low. Anyway, um, now it's my turn to respond, Hamza. I will respond to Hamza respond. using Hamza. This was Hamza last week. Congratulations to Yagi Klopp. 
And this, ladies and gentlemen, why I am not pissed at all when Hamza is speaking because this is exactly why this guy is the biggest the star on the YouTube. Game, one day Muslim, one day Christian. Last week, he said, congratulations, Liverpool, on winning the English Premier League. This week, it's, don't let Arsenal win the league. He was calling Saka, Charles, and Zogbia last week. He was calling Bukayo, Saka, Charles, and Zogbia last Allah, week. We don't need to, don't need to dunk guys. him. He was calling him Charles and Zogbia him. last week. This week, he's cooking Mo Salah, the same guy that he used as the example. The same guy that he used as the example last week. Same guy that he used as the example last week. They brought Saka to Mo Salah. They brought him to the Egyptian king. The one guy. For me, Hussam, Kevin De Bruyne, and Mo Salah. I will never cook it. These two are amazing. Uh, you're talking about Mo Salah for his country. Kevin De Bruyne for his country has done, uh, finished the sentence. Absolutely fuck all. Your greatest player of all time did not play in your biggest ever game, the Champions League final. It's funny you're talking about parades. Let's talk about parades. When I won a Carabao Cup and an FA Cup, I had four times as many people as you did winning a treble. Jesus winning Christ. a treble. You achieved your... Well, well, I'm just going to speak. Don't, don't, don't talk. Don't talk. Trend. I didn't interrupt you. This guy, after 115 charges, and spending 2.5 billion, finally won a treble and had one fourth of the amount of people I had to celebrate a Carabao Cup and an FA Cup. You know why? Because I'm a real club. I'm not a manufactured club. We all know, had Sheikh Mansour bought Everton, Hamza would be here singing Everton songs. Had Sheikh Mansour bought Spurs, Hamza would be singing Spurs songs. You're a gold digger. That's all you are. There is no difference between you and a bad bitch in Miami, brother. Every single one of us here actually fell in love with an institution, fell in love with a football club, fell in love with a player. You chase the money. That's all you chase. And when these charges hit and your club's downfall starts, I am going to be the guy to dance on your grave because I've had enough of your bullshit. Last week, you were cooking Manchester United. What a bunch of glory hunters. What a bunch of glory hunting fan base. This week, it's, oh, in my whole lifetime, Manchester United have always been dominant. In my whole lifetime, Arsenal get to sit on the table. Last week, it was Arsenal have went 20 years without a league title. <laughs> Arsenal haven't won the league for 20 years. Yeah, you put up the certificate of participation last week for Arsenal. You did that for Arsenal. So now you're doing well, that for Liverpool. So how many times a league is there? Because this is the same guy. This is the same guy that told us he's underdog against Huddersfield. And he told us he's underdog against Luton Town. And he told us he's the underdog against Manchester United. He told us he's the underdog against every single club that he's played. He is the guy that wants to be the best club in the world and the underdog at the same time. He's the guy that tells me, Hussam, play the reaction of the Real Madrid fans as soon as they drew Manchester City in the Premier League and the Champions League. And then he comes here, this bad bitch in Miami. He comes here and he's like, um, uh, you know, I always respect Real Madrid. Going to the Etihad is like going to the Bernabeu. Uh, I mean, I doubt Crystal Palace would get a draw at the Bernabeu. They got a draw at the Etihad this season. I doubt uh, Liverpool, the same one that you mocked for Real Madrid, we couldn't get a draw at the Bernabeu. Yet, uh, you know, we got a draw at the Etihad. Arsenal got a draw, a draw at the Etihad as well. The same club that you mock week in, week out. This is the problem with you. One day Muslim, one day Christian. Last week, verbatim, he said, word for word, letter for letter, Exactly what Hamza said. I am not afraid of Arsenal. Arsenal are not going to win the league. I am scared of Liverpool. Congratulations, Liverpool. One draw later, he drops all that and he's now doing Arsenal prop. Let me know if give next, you this at the end of the season. If next week Arsenal draw to Wolves, let me tell you exactly what's gonna happen. If next week Arsenal draw to Wolves and Liverpool beat Crystal Palace and we go top again, all Hamza is gonna say is 
I told you guys, I warned I you guys about you. Liverpool. The worst part is we let them go to the Europa League. And because we let them go to the Europa League, they essentially have one game a week. Jürgen Klopp is going to leave England with a league title. Wah, 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 wah. Cry and cry and cry and cry. Yeah. This is what happened. And this is why everyone in the chat is saying I'm winning, despite this guy waffling for 35 minutes, because this guy is a Muslim one day, a Christian the next day, and he can't choose what religion he wants to follow. And it's the same thing in football terms. Last week, it was Arsenal are bottle jobs. Saka's Charles and Zogbia. Declan Rice got cooked by Rico Lewis. Arsenal are perennial bottle jobs. This week, it's, oh, Liverpool have only won league time. My brother, I was winning Champions Leagues when you were fighting Jilling him away. You yourself, I will ask you one simple question, and you have to be a man right now in front of 2,000 people. I hope you guys are liking and subscribing right now. You have to be a man and answer it the same way you answered it, or I will play the clip. I will play the clip if you don't answer honestly. Hamza, very simple question. Who is the biggest club in England right now? Answer. At the current moment, the world champions is Manchester City. Oh, there is no such thing at the current moment. Who's the biggest club in England? Answer. I'm putting trophies now. Why am I going to be up with the bill? I will play the clip, Hamza. Who is the biggest club in England? Don't make me play the clip. I'm the biggest club in England. Hamza, don't let me play the clip. Who's the biggest club in England? Who is the biggest club in England? Hamza, don't make me play the clip. I'm the world champion. Hamza, do not lie. I will play the clip. Don't get embarrassed. Just say it right now. Who's the biggest club in England? Listen, your history, you've got it, but not now. There you are. Your history, no. you've got it. Hamza himself believes that Liverpool are the biggest club in I England. I do think that's beyond you the know, point. Sam, when I went to Turkey, when I went to Istanbul, Liverpool, no. our heritage, I went to Istanbul and I asked the Turkish people, who's the biggest club in England? They all said Liverpool Football Club are the biggest club in England. Oh I trust Liverpool. Liverpool, our heritage, six-time <laughs> Champions League winners. Why? You know, that's that's Sam always You have too many times as much Champions yeah, League. Yeah, yeah, you know, there's not too much. No, it is. When we mention, when anyone mention your why are we doing anyone mention Anyone mention Jurgen Klopp? Anyone mention Liverpool winning one league title in 30 years? Anyone mention Liverpool yeah, winning one league title in nine years with Jurgen Klopp? Olus Sam goes back to we're the biggest club in England. Man City. Hold on, let mm. me finish. Man City are 115. Man City is a plastic club. Man City only are big because of the money and all of that. Would you judge more believe? Why? No, I'm, I'm being serious. Why? Why yeah, you're not think, responding to what he said? Why you're not responding to what? By the way, Hamza never no mentioned your history. Hamza, Sam, let me ask you. Hamza never mentioned your history. Never. Like, he hasn't come here and said, Liverpool history is rubbish. He cannot say that because history yeah, is great. Growing up, he cannot Liverpool change it. What does that mean? Is that history? He or is future? talking about. He's talking about. Is he going to grow up in the future? I doubt it. So he grew up. He's, he said. He, I think he said in our generation, which is That's true. In our that. generation, Liverpool weren't really doing much. Yet. Apart from winning the Champions League, have, have, yes. in the Premier League, they went through pillars of hard. Hamza, caveat what he said. Hamza, caveat what he said. Who said in our generation? Why are people yes. upset? Am I talking about? Okay, Mo, I'll ask you a simple question. Am I talking about the I'll football or am, I or am I responding to what Hamza said using his own logic? But he's talking about our generation. Do you have a response to that? I'm talking I about what Hamza said. I talk about our generation. Yeah. Do you have a yeah. response to what he I'm said? I'm talking about what Hamza said. Yes, you but I'm, I'm telling you what he said. I'm telling you, you what he said. I am not responding to this based on what I think or based on what, what I believe. Think, I'm responding. Right. I am using Hamza's own sword to end him. You understand? There's different <laughs> things. You so can, the same guy am I, last week, am I Rahwa, tripping? you want me to play the clip again where he says, congratulations, Liverpool are winning the league? Yes, yes. yes. Am, am I, yes. Am so I much. tripping, guys? Am I, Jacob, Ahmed, Hamza, Hamza and Hussam, please stop. Okay, BB. Stop. Hamza uh, and Hussam, stop. I'm moving. Saki, Jacob, Saad, Ahmed. Am I tripping? Or Hussam literally responded to something else that Hamza never said. I, I feel like the, the, this does always happen. 
where 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 Hamza starts making it a little bit more about the club rather than the occasion. But that's Hamza. We know Hamza's that. But but here's the thing: like when we lose, unfortunately, I don't fall back on the fact. No, the thing is, like, when we lose, I don't go back and remind everyone that I have 20 Premier Leagues. Because imagine if I do this every week. I have the most Premier Leagues on the panel. Thank so you. it's like I, I can win this know. argument every week. But the thing I is, the thing I want to address... I I Staffy, Staffy, Staffy Staffy doesn't doesn't lose and come here and say, I want to triple in 99. I, I just never do. Yeah, yeah, that's the difference. But, the, but here's the thing that I want to say. Again, I'm literally responding to Hamza. No, no, I know, I know, I know. I already, I already said Hamza do, does do that. When we the stream, I said Liverpool didn't deserve to win today's game because we didn't take our chances. I spoke on the game already. But when Hamza says Liverpool are the biggest club in England and Liverpool, congratulations, are winning the league. And then a week later, he comes here and Okay, but one second. I do... Hamza, Hamza, one second, Hamza. One second. I'm saying, I'm replying to Hamza. I'm not saying on the game, Yanni. No, no, I know, I know, I know. And I already said it's because of what Hamza. Hamza, Hamza, one second, just because I, I want to bring in some people in this conversation because Jacob hasn't spoken. Guys, let other people talk. And, and Ahmed hasn't Jacob spoken Saad as well. And Ahmed, please, guys. Yeah, yeah, and I want them to speak. And I, I do want to throw this, this question out to Don't the panel. Problem. I, uh, in in clubs last season, there's a very high potential that this season ends, and clubs last season, the 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 final dance might end with a Carabao Cup. That's a serious possibility. Is. This is what his legacy is going to be remembered by. Now, I want you guys to just talk about that. How embarrassing would it be after all this hype that he might end with an energy drink? And funny enough, me and Ahmed actually could could finish with an FA Cup. So we can potentially have better seasons than them. No, it's it's, it's, it's it's not even a joke, bro. Like we can finish with better yeah. silver within them. Fundamentally, I said this before. Liverpool, yeah, are the biggest bridesmaids in in not even the <laughs> Premier League, just the league history, bro. It's a fact. You know, we can we can lie about, we can make fun about it, but it's true, bro. You know Osam, what I mean? Osam, Osam, let people talk, please. Osam. It's, we know it's the, your it's channel, just, it's your show, but let, I want to hear him. If I want to make an invalid point. I will correct him. You, well, li- you, yeah, all, you told us all to shut up. Factually, you literally Thank told you us much. to shut up. You told us to shut up, all of I us, didn't tell when you, you were responding to Hamza. You, you told us to stay yeah. silent. You told us yeah, to yeah, you told, you told me to shut up. That's it. It's a throwaway You told sad. You told sad. Okay, and I want to address something. Why Liverpool fans in the chat, you guys are triggered. Oh, because your hero, Hussam, is being pressed a little bit. Oh, no. I'm not drinks, man. Yeah. What did I say? I show everyone do it. Everyone do it. Mo, do it. Jacob, do it. Do the move. Do the move. Do the move. Do the move. Do it, Jacob. Do it. We see you guys. Do it. We have him on strings. Oh, my God. Everyone in the chat, Mo, shut up. Stop doing this. Oh, Mo. You know, you know, let me tell you about yeah, Hamza. Me and Hamza know each other was talking. That guy used to wait for me to say, I want to go pray for him to cook Liverpool. Ask <laughs> that. Wallahi, ask that right now. But that's because fine. We're not surprised, bro. Dad, be honest right now. Did he not wait? I can't lie. Football wars, he, Hamza shameless. Yeah, he'd wait, he'd, he'd, wait, he'd wait for certain, he'd wait for certain Liverpool fans, Hassan included, to leave. Yeah, and he starts saying, Dear Liverpool's this, that Liverpool's that. that. And then Hassan comes you back, know. he's like, What are you talking about, Hamza? And he's like, Oh, you know. hey, what were you saying? To be fair, <laughs> Hamza is very shameless. Yeah. You know, no, no, like, you I remember, I remember, I'm gonna get Ahmed to talk, but before guys, yeah. Ahmed, oh, yeah, yeah. if you wanna, if you wanna like, support your Sam, 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 wait, Sam, wait. The team that has bottled the most league titles is factually Arsenal, not us. Okay, okay. Guys, Ahmed, uh, before, you talk, before you talk, Ahmed, guys, if you want to really support Hussam, you know what to do before you uh, you like the video. We are 2,000 people here, and you are not giving your hero, Hussam, likes. Now you're like the damn video, people, like the problem. video. Ten years ago, you were celebrating right. league titles. Now he's so right. happy because of a 2-2 draw against Liverpool. Well, no, 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 I'm not. Okay, I'm listen, not. I just want to say, I just want to say, one second, one second, I just want to say, one second, I just want to say, let me just say, to this guy, can we listen, I just want to say please. quickly, yeah, to this guy, oh man, to, he did not even, it's a draw, first of all, go ahead, listen, I want to say this quickly, to this guy called Arman Ali, I think, yeah, I think this is his name, yeah, I've got more league titles than you, hush, please, one in 30, please, be quiet, man, okay, 
<laughs> you can't say the same about my club. Please, yeah. But listen, the reason I think in the Man City era, I was okay, maybe I'll correct myself. You guys are the biggest bridesmaids. You know, you've done everything, you know, you, you 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 know what I mean you always I, like the high the thing I hear about the was high man you don't spend too much, you know. Oh, you know, we don't spend oh, you know, Coutinho, one hundred you know, we hate we've heard the excuses, we know everything about them. Like, but listen, at the end of the day, you can only blame yourselves because last season you bottled it, this season you're bottling it. So Krupp, man, he's only got one league title in like that whole period. If if Arteta matches him, Arteta's is better than him, bro. He's been better than him in the league. He's rebuilt faster than him. He's he's won a league title quicker than him in his period. Arteta is better than you. Wow. Arteta wow. is better than the club. I wouldn't say necessarily he's better, but just the fact that no, 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 is no, no, quick no, 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 is better. But but, but Steph, if, respond, if you be honest, bro, he's done it quicker. He's done it better. They they won't have that excuse. That I just want to say they they won't have this excuse anymore because because let me I have I need five seconds I need five seconds. Yeah, I need five seconds to his point because I don't want it to be forgotten. He fully, he fully, like, I needed five said seconds. First of all, the team that's been top of the league most in Christmas and lost the league title is Arsenal. So the biggest bottle job club, factually, bridesmaid in, in Premier League history is Arsenal. Oh, Second of all, you want to talk about going long without the league title. Chelsea went 55 years without a league title league twice. Titles. In 110 years, you won two league titles. In 110 years. And if Daddy Abramo bought us instead, you'd be singing Liverpool songs now. Oh, Third of all, when it comes oh, to Chelsea God. Football Club, you're well, here telling you me didn't. about embarrassment. You drew to Sheffield today 1.5 billion blue pound bottle jobs. Wow. You lost That's to my kids. You didn't even do what How much did you guys spend there? We don't do that here. No, no, no. We don't do this on Al-Ahwa. On Al-Ahwa. Wait, wait, hold on. On Al-Ahwa. I got you, Ahmed. On Al-Ahwa, we don't do this. Regardless of where you sit in the table, you still get to cook. When we talk about another team that lost, yeah, drew, that's or whatever. Thank you very much. I was going to say, no, I was just going to say, it because by that logic, me and Ahmed probably don't, we shouldn't even be on this panel. And Mo probably shouldn't be on this panel because it doesn't even have a team. What does that even mean? Like that, that, no, we're not doing that. You're doing what the people do in the comments. Yeah, people in the comments you, do that. You, you responded to the most irrelevant part of the paragraph. That's the funny No, part. no, I, I will go back to the paragraph. Don't worry. I just wanted to address yeah, that. I just want to add to what Ahmed Remember. said earlier. What Ahmed said earlier, listen, I don't necessarily agree that Arteta automatically becomes better than than uh, than uh, what's his name, Klopp. I don't think so because he still wins to win the Champions League. Blah blah blah. I get that. But here's the thing: that excuse they use this excuse all the even Mo at some point felt bad for you guys to start using it. Oh, these Liverpool guys—they're so unlucky that you know they had this very good team during the Pep era. Yeah, well, nearly won Arte the league. Arteta's not Pep. Mm. That's a different manager. Nearly won the Champions League six times. It uh, has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. So irrelevant. If Arteta wins it, you can't use this this Pep excuse anymore. Because your fan base loves to use the excuse that Pep is the best manager in history. How can we beat the best manager in history? Well, Arteta is about, if, if Arteta does it, then Arteta did it. If Arteta wins, then he... That argument is done. Mourinho did it. What's your point? I don't care about the first one. I'll give them the first one because that was Pep's first year in the league or whatever. Okay, That's Mourinho fine. Done it in Madrid. What's your point? I'm talking about the. Well, you're you're proving my point even better now because your no, point no. is as your fan base. If your fan base looks the same. I have no problem. No, with no, that. no. But that's what I'm saying. Your fan base and like Troop says, it's not the uh, the Cody cry babies. It's the club cry babies now. The end of the mm. season, we're gonna have the club cry babies running out of excuses. Because yep. everyone said, we only won one, but we won it against Pep. We were the only one that won it, against, while no one else had it. Well, now Arteta could have one. That is going to be an uncomfortable conversation. Because if Arteta you know, does Steffi, it, Steffi. no more Steffi, 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 I want to ask you a question, Steffi. Steffi, Steffi I'm going to ask you a question. Quickly, one, quick, it's, 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 one minor. One he, minor. he mentioned another logical fallacy. Oh. First of all, Ahmed. Arteta has spent 700 million before winning a league title. So let's just get that in. Oh, so how much has I didn't mention money. You spent you you money, money, though. Wait, 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 wait. Can I just wait, wait, wait. that point? He's acting like he didn't spend 75 million on Van Dijk. What's going on here, man? Another factual thing that you said that's incorrect. You said Arteta won it faster than Klopp. No, he didn't. Because Jurgen Klopp, for third, Jurgen Klopp, fourth full season, won his Premier League. So that's no, that's the thing. No, and in his fourth season. season. And his third full season. And his third full season. He won the Champions League. 16, 17, and in his Manager. third full season, he won the Champions League. You get it? No, this is so his first full season. Fourth full season. Arsenal's money in four years. 
Sweet. Actually, no, it's his third. Yeah. It's his third full season. Yeah. This and is his third know. full season right now. What one is it? 14. Yeah. Mikel Arteta. Eight, eight, Mikel Arteta. Eight, 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 fifth, fifth, second. Okay, okay so, and, and Klopp, Klopp okay, fourth, and fourth. Klopp, it's I'm not the fifth yeah, yeah. because you have to take one away because he came in in December. Okay, Are we going to count eight, the half a season? Fifth, fifth, so, okay, Khalas, so this is his fourth. So, this is his fifth full season. No, it's not. Do your math no. again. Eight, no. fifth, no. fifth, second. Four. I remember, two, I think it took over December 2020. Klopp won a league title and a champs by his fourth full season. Uh, so, so here's, so here's uh, guys, a, guys, the uh, fact that he's comparing Arteta to Klopp is actually embarrassing, Jurgen. Uh, but I'm, I'm going wrong with conversation it. Conversation is over, bro. Time Conversa- time the time fact time that you put both of them and you mm-hmm. try to, to, to you try to mm. protect your, your manager and actually protect his image by comparing him to Arteta and saying this guy might I'm win his fifth season and this guy won in his third season. It's embarrassing. He's a fraud. He's a fraud. Let me add my point quickly. Let me add my point Seven hundred million. Seven hundred million. Let me add my point quickly. Seven hundred million. Seven hundred million. Listen. Listen, I want to say this thing quickly. I love it. I love it. I love it. He's won one Premier League. Guys, by the way, let's get to a thousand likes. Two curveballs. He's got. He's won one Premier League, two Kerberos, one FA Cup, I believe, Super and Cup, and and uh, thank you, and one Champions yeah. League. Your point. Right? And is that really with what he's had, the plays he's had? Failure. Yeah. Is that that is we be honest? A like, failure, bro. Failure, like, okay, man. Come on, bro. I'm coming, I'm I'm coming, coming closer, closer to the yeah. camera. I've come and I'll tell you really Very, very yeah. simple. Very simple. Yeah. Very simple. Yeah. 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 Tell him, tell him, bro. Tell him, bro. Hamza, let me just respond. Yeah, I'm getting attacked from all six sides. Let me breathe. <laughs> let me breathe. Yeah. Let me respond. <laughs> let me respond. I cannot respond to all attacks like this. Yeah. One second. One second. <laughs> Ahmed just said, has club underachieved? Yes. And the reason why Hamza is a fraud is he comes here and he says, Hussam was the only one on spaces after they won the Carabao Cup and Epic Cup to say that they have failed. That's why I respect him. Obviously, Klopp has underachieved 100%. No one has ever denied that. However, by the definition, because he's won us our first Premier League title, you cannot say the word failure. There's failure, there's underachieved, there's successful. Words matter. So we cannot just say anything. He underachieved. Same way Ferguson <laughs> underachieved in Europe. He didn't fail because he won it twice. So it's by the time. Like that. <laughs> oh, Hamza, when anyway, we're, like having, we're having, Hamza, a, we're having a hypothetical situation. Okay. It's <laughs> Arteta wins it. Can, uh, can we? Sam, no, no, but, but the problem but is, no. Sam is the question needs like to be asked. Arteta won it, guys. Like, no, 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 but the question needs to be asked. Let's just carry this question on from Mo's channel. Yeah, big up Footy Judge Mo. Go like and subscribe to his channel. Yeah. And and M A M M H M A M H F yes M H F go go subscribe to M H F as well. Just give it up. Go go subscribe. That was a horrible. The 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 channel that I don't know. Um, it's just trying to do it. Yeah, that one. It starts with an M and there's an F in it. I don't know where channel. You'll find it. You'll find it. Mo Mo Hassan football. Well, like that's it. <laughs> I don't um, know where, but you'll find on it. Most you'll find channel, it. On most channel, they said something. And I want to pose that question to you, Hussam, so I can get your input. If Arteta this mm. season, listen, the likelihood of it happening, it's not very high. But let's say, for instance, Arteta goes and wins the double. He does the Premier League and the Champions League. Does he surpass oh. Klopp's legacy? Oh, 100%. If he does that. 100%. Does he surpass Klopp's <laughs> legacy if he wait, does wait, the wait, deal oh, with Champions I mean, League? I mean, I mean, I mean, one second, I mean, one second, one second, one second. For the simple fact that it's a double, 100%. No conversation. It's over. It's over. Wallah, it's over. 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 Oh God. Just zoom into Hussam's face. He's deep, he's deep no, no, there's he's nothing deep wrong deep with me. I can answer this question very simply. Wow, we were wow, asked wow, uh, wow, wow. two weeks ago who the top five managers in Premier League history are. And I put club fifth. And you can ask Mo. I actually said... I have a Klopp question. Said, yeah, since yeah, you're in the mood for answering things, Hussam, I have a question Arteta, for you. I mean, I'm getting asked questions. Do you want me to just mute myself? No, I have a question I would like to add at the end no, when no you problem. finish okay, answering I, I, the queue of okay. questions that you have. If that is allowed. Oh, of course. But can I answer this one first, please? 
Yes, thank you. Klopp's legacy is very surpassable. I have no problem saying that. Yes. All your managers on this panel can surpass Klopp's legacy by winning two league titles and a Champions League or whatever. So Klopp is not infallible in the legacy conversation. I've said that already. Carlos, we, we, we just needed to know that because a lot of your fans, when you mm. ask them that question, their knees start shaking. They say, yeah, oh, hold on you mean, you Klopp, man. He's the Messiah. You want to hear, Yanni? Bro, they, they use this. They say this to me. They say it means more because he won it against Pep. They've used okay, this man. excuse care. for years. Sad. Sad. You want me to use what other Arsenal fans say against you? No, no, you no, 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 no. He's what not using it man. against you. He's okay, using it as ahead, an Jake, argument. He's not using it against you. He's mentioning it as an argument. Jacob. Go ahead, Jake. Would you say Harry Maguire and Willy Wonkwala would be the two toughest center back pairing that you've faced? Why Mohamed Salah really can't get in behind them is my first question. And when he did, why... Why was it so awful? Why was it? I thought Mohamed Salah was this great, this guy that we're all bowing down to. He's the king, yada, yada. Lights are bright. Here's your moment. Maguire made a mistake. Finally made a mistake for Mas Salah. All you got to do is capitalize on it in front of net. You know, Nana's not going to save it. Why couldn't he even put it on target? We like okay, to call him Big Willie, by the way, not, not Willie Wonka. Oh, Big Big Willie, yeah, yeah, Willie Wonka. Right, that's a massive yeah. pause, bro. Not, that's uh, a pause. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We faced because we scored twice against them. Uh, Arsenal, we scored. No once. right, one was a penalty, but that's my point. I'm, I'm saying Harry Maguire and a guy I heard of this morning, Mohamed Salah can't beat except for a penalty that he didn't even win. Mm. Hey, that's fine. Son didn't turn up in half your games this season. It's okay. So Deflection. Should... Deflection. There you are. There you are. As you like to say, it's there like you are. There you are. I see you. You're going to deflect to Spurs? I'm asking, just, just you say that I'm asking you about your match today with United. But oh, what does he do? He deflects to Spurs because Son missed him what? Fulham. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah, I fine. just want to say that big Bro, really you are the worst at deflection. The today. You, should, you could at least try and hide it a little bit. Solidified the deep. Big Willie solidified the D today. That's what he did. <laughs> bro, what's good? Hey, 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 Ramadan, hey. Ramadan, will I have some shame? <laughs> he solidified the defense. Doing purpose now. I don't. You're, you're doing it on purpose now. Will I have some shame? It's Ramadan. Yeah. Six okay, guys, four, let me, let me six four. Willie Kambola solidified the defense yeah, yeah, today. Done, I'm what, done, I'm why? Done, why is your head going left? No, no problem. No problem. Okay, guys. Other clues of Salah. We have so been an good. hour and thirty-eight Zero. minutes on one game. Um, you know, and this shows, I just want to say at the end, we're, we're I'm not gonna done yet. That's now, so let me just do the super chats before we move on to Chelsea and end this. Thing. Were you gonna answer my no, question no, no, and not no, talk no, about no, Tottenham, no, no, or were no, you gonna no, answer no, my no, question? I don't like, I, I, we're not I, done. I, 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 are we I, done, guys? Are we done? I said, is I didn't. Done? Man. Are we done? I have more Why questions. Are we guys done with Liverpool, Man United? To be honest, I don't care that much. Yeah, listen, we're about to cost them the league. Any more devil's advocate questions? Yeah, why did Steven Gerrard slip? Why did Liverpool? Why did Konza? Why did Konza get Steven why Gerrard out? Why did Steven Gerrard why today? Why did Steven why did Gerrard, Gerrard, Gerrard today went to Konza? Why did why Steven did Gerrard went to Konza? We have spent why an hour and forty minutes why are you talking about the why, 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 why did Why did Konza slip today? Did Konza slip today? Why are you running? <laughs> anyway, so. an hour and 40 minutes talking about this game. We have to move on to the Super Chats now. Um, you know, I just want to say, this is the longest cooking in Ahwa ever. I took it like a champ for a 2-2 two -two draw. Everyone remembers this, yeah? Everyone remembers this. Everyone remembers this. No, no, no. It wasn't for a 2-2 two -two no, draw. It was for bottling the lead. It was for bottling the lead. It's losing your top. It's losing your place from the top. Don't lie. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Sam. You lost your place from the top. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Sam. Okay, it's, the thank you for chat. adding the context, Sam. That's oh, why me, you're real. Super chat. Uh, because chat. because Willie's better than Kwanzaa, but that's a different Super, super chat. Let me, let me just respond to them so we can move on to Chelsea, guys. Is that okay with you guys? Also, by the way, we have 2,000 people in here, guys. Let's get 2,000 likes. At least 50%. 2,000 people watching us right here, right now. Let's get to 1,000 likes ASAP. Please slap the like button right now. All these guys' this channels is in the description. Make sure, guys, go subscribe to every single one of these guys' this channels. So please like subscribe uh and yeah let me just do the super chats before we move on to chelsea 
Um, big up to my guy, Mr. Khan, who says, Legend has it, Robertson is still crossing the ball. Legend has it, it's 2024, and we still start Andy Robertson, which makes me want to stick pins in my eyeballs. Costa Simicas, it's time to rise. Big up to JL Zone, who says, Hamza rise today, cook, my brother. Hey, he got the biggest Uno reverse on his head top. Big up to Omar, who says, um, really don't think Arsenal dropping points uh, win as important today. You're the same guy who told me to calm down when I said the City draw at home is a bad result. And now you're doing this. You were one of the happy clappers. So continue to clap in the background. Staffy, I meant Rashford, uh, Rashford dives. Hypocrites, you are. And Ronaldo dives. And Nani dives. I have a history. What does that have to do with anything? Why can't I call out a dive? That was a dive. Yeah, today, today, Bruno caught a foul. And I said to my, my, to my people when I was watching, I was like, by the way, that's a dive. What does that to do with the point? We cannot respond. Yeah, it's further, it's further. I'm just saying that because it's just me. I thought Spurs could finish ahead of us. Mo, I saw a stream. You said Arsenal won't win. Uh, you're not my son anymore. Forza Milan says Cryptic Dino. Hey, Forza Milan, definitely after today. Big up to you, Cryptic Dino. Big up to Stiku says El Elliot dived. It's a fact. Elliot was already falling before Arwan Bissaka. That's why everyone was saying smart play, taking advantage. Dumb tackle, bad dive. Dumb tackle, uh, and that's that's it. Uh, end the super chat at dumb tackle because that should, tackle should have been made. Uh, he's back again, says Jesus was absolutely clamped. By Lamptey, the ball touch was the issue in the Arsenal one. Elliot took advantage of the single stupidest tackle ever. Yeah, but now you're spitting. It is the stupidest tackle ever because there's no need to take him down with your other foot. When it comes to 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 the uh, the Brighton one, I thought it was a penalty as well. Um, big up to Amina who says facts. Man United will not be part of the Champions League next season. Spurs are in. Hey, I hope so as well. Big up to you, Amina. Big up to Mina who says Jacob should be on the top. Spurs one news uh, on the baby. Jacob. Any day now. Any day now, the baby will be here. Yeah, any day now. Vamos. Big up to Jacob. Congratulations ah. to him. Jason, I, mean, I didn't either. know that I was showing quite yet, but yep, we're moving it right along. <laughs> Jacob Big scoring team, on yeah. and off the... I mean, the reason why Jacob is not at the top is because United won 2-2 two, two today. Uh, Big up to Ed, who says Aww. we were still finishers today. I've never <laughs> missed so, so, so much. Wallah. The injury merchant at least finishes his dinner in front of goal. Yeah, but Jacob is unreliable, Ed, which is exactly why in, in January I said we need to sign a forward. Sad but, yeah. Is what it is. Jot is made from Weetabix. Make uh, up to Andrew says, Ryan says Hamda, Hamda. That Bradley's better than Trent. Why are you quiet? And our own fan base said it. This was just pathetic. You know, I had to put Albert in his place last time when I said, you know, Trent needs to move, start. Move, he's a game changer. Big up to Nilpal says, respect for Sam on his football opinions. He called this week Make earlier said that Liverpool will dominate, but because of the front three, uh, we will drop points. Yeah, That's wait. what happened with up Sam. Yeah, I called it, you know, and it's funny that, you know, Chats, please. Um, Sam, hate to say it, is uh, Safi is right. United cost us the Premier League, yeah, and so did City, and so did Loot, and so did all the games. Sam, how many super chats have my super chats warranted modding? Habibi, being a mod is not about sending super chats, you cannot buy a moderator. <laughs> We're not, this is not Chelsea YouTube channel, Habibi. Oh, Big up to Cafe, oh, this point uh, always was most likely drop I, point I, out of the all three since we I have injury on front line. You don't want to listen, yep. I said it all along. Um, big up to Ray Ray who says Virgil van Dijk, McAllister, Endo, Diaz, and Elliot, the only players who deserve any credit. Everyone else left, let us down. Uh, where are Arsenal dropping points? The same guy that said Hussam showed chess, Ryan. Ryan Ryan and is now also giving credit to Wataru Endo, who was our second worst midfielder after Sobosly. Big up to you, 16 Ryan. out of 10 super chat. 16. Big up to Nick who said, Say it with chest, get it wrong, they clown on you. Say it without chest, get it right, and they still clowned on you. LFC failed themselves. Facts, Dunk down is what it sounds so, like. <laughs> In the paint, actually, dunked on. Nick, outside Nick, the paint, dunked on. Stop. Up to you. Nick, stop the that. game. The Nick game is the game, bro. Oh, <laughs> and City Diaz, he means, yep, Diaz, Luis Diaz and Nunes and all these guys, bro. I can Diaz. confirm that I didn't miss an open goal. Big up to Andrew. No, he said Diaz at the end. Okay, correct himself. That's not Drogba. That's P. Diddy from the UK, says Murad. Hey, so what the fuck, man? man? Shut up, bro. Big up I don't to Jason said that and Spurs to put the brakes on the top three and make things interesting. Yeah, okay, bro. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm 100%. 100 we're, we're definitely losing to Arsenal. No chance. And, and we're going to win 7 out of 7. We're going to win the league. Copium. Don't worry. Copium. Tottenham will take care Copium. of everybody. Hams will be saying thank you, Tottenham. No Sam problem. will be saying I thank will. you, Tottenham. Them, but I'm still too afraid to step up to the plate. But thank you anyway. <laughs> I still won't believe it. I'm still too afraid that, oh, we're not going to win it. Regardless of you beating them or not, we're going to drop points again. That's the problem. Jacob, you've seen it 100 times. Big Angie got us. 
exactly why I said City are favorites. Big up to Daib who sent two empty super chats. I appreciate you. Big up to Frank who says, Hamza's pure comedy. Love it. Liverpool haven't looked convincing all season, finally paying for it. Uh, haven't looked convincing all season is absolute rubbish. We were literally better than City at Anfield. Like, we had more possession. We had better passes and all this. I You cannot run unsustainable shit in fucking April. Like, grow up, Frank. Uh, Hamza was cooking uh, Arsenal last week. What a legend. Yeah, and next week if United lose and Steph is here, he'll go like, what a bunch of glory hunters. This week, it's United are the biggest club. From a quadruple to a Carabao Cup, it's painful. Come on, you're going to assist Paramedic. <laughs> uh, just like last season, we went from bigger from fish to rags. Big up to E Inc. who says 10 minutes of waffle cooking by Hamza. The waffle was burnt at the end. Hamza Mane never carried LFC. 100% agenda alert. 100%. He wasn't even our best player those two years. Shut up to Van Dyke. Mane couldn't even carry Bayer and Hamza. You mad, Habibi. He isn't even the best player in a Nasser right now. A Nasser, he's not even better than Taliska. Hey, you, listen, he carried this country to Afcon, so yeah, he carried them. Yeah. I mean, it's a salary league, man. I don't think you need to be doing that much work. Big up to Andrew who says we want a trophy. Hamza, pass and hey. Wow. Uh, we can have He's two. Uh, big up to you, Andrew. Big up to Amina, who says Mane failed in Germany, failed in Saudi. What are you talking about, Hamza? You are a fraud. You won the league. You won the league. Last week, was he in Salah. I don't think the fact Man United is not part of the Champions League. Fact. Last week, he was saying, I respect Mo Salah. If I play the clip, big up Guti. Guti sent me a clip. Hamza's name on Guti's phone is Mo Salah because Hamza was actually Mo Salah's biggest fan. It still is. No. He called Saka Charles and Zogbia last week. This week, Salah is nothing. This is, this is what happens with Hamza. Mane, 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 was, a, Mane was, was unsuccessful at Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich. He won the Bayern he won the Munich and you fail. Bayern Munich. League. The easiest team to succeed in. Won the league. League. Tell, tell me you don't watch the Bundesliga league. without yeah. telling me you don't watch the Bundesliga. Because Firmino plus Mane, why is Mo still consistent? You cannot dot Mo Salah in 2024. Faked an injury. What the hell are you smoking? Yeah, he faked an injury, yet he didn't play for Liverpool a month after. So he was just there, you know, doing spa days, eating cucumbers. Big up to Luke who says, uh, Luke Skywalker. Big up to Luke Skywalker. Smash the likes. Make sure guys are listening to me and smashing the like button right now. Let's get to a thousand likes ASAP. Big up, Luke. Big up to Temple Line says, Hamza dropped the only fans link to working for hire. Just last week, he said Liverpool are league champions. This uh, week here we go. For- Where's your only fans link to working for Hassan? Yes, you work for the other club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, if Arsenal go to Wolves away and they drop points. Oh my God, I told you Liverpool will win the league. Big up to oh, Terence who started Liverpool winning the Carabao, uh, had the Carabao Cup. Uh, X post has more likes than the city treble post. When 115 hits and Hamza goes back to Barca, will be a good day. Come on, you going to speak up to you, Terence. One of the real ones, you know. I saw you saying I was cooking Hamza earlier on, even though you're an Arsenal fan. I appreciate having me. Thank you. Big up to Sticker says covering both bases. Fence sitter Hamza has no chest. Yeah, he'll say he's an underdog next week. You know, next week they take on, I don't know, the mighty Luton. He'll say he's underdog. Uh, big up to Tevin. Tevin! He says, Hussam counter pressed the shit out of Hamza. 3 1 Hussam in extra time. Big up to you, Tevin. Even though you're an Arsenal fan, you get me. Just saying it as it is. Uh, big up to you, Tevin. Uh, we all Too know why. Do Hamza it today. On Mo for Mane. Yes, we all know why. But let's not go there. We are coming for you, Hamza. Better um, book your ticket to Mogadishu. Hey, don't don't forget. Oh uh, you know, he tried to book me. He called Saka Charles and Zogbia. Uh, big up EPL Turf for. Uh, Saying Hussam accuses Manchester City for UAM, but we're not you running naked for Qatari money takeover in the summer. Why this hypocrisy? I've explained this already a hundred times. If Qatar take over mm. Manchester United or take over Liverpool, they were already big institutions, massive institutions before it happened. Manchester City were in League Two, then won the jackpot by the admission. Just won a UCL, just a UCL, just like it's an FA Cup. How many did Arsenal? No. Last no, week, no, that's not what I said. Just that's a not, that's that not what I that's not what I said. You're listening with your asshole, bro. You're listening with your ass, bro. I said, I said, I said that they won a UCL, but in the league, when in our generation they didn't do fuck all. Fuck okay. all. Okay. In the league. Yeah, and the last time you won the league, you were two years old. You wet your bed the previous day. Wow. Big up to Murat, actually, I was ten. Was ten. actually, I was ten. So not twice. No, actually, he finished fifth twice, not not once. Two, two, two times, I believe. No, it's one. 700 million on 24 players, only three players over 50 million. He had Aye. to change the whole squad. The 700 million agenda is disingenuous. Yeah, like Jurgen Klopp didn't have to change the whole squad. Like we still have Sacco oh. and Lovren oh. and Klein and Moreno and Mignolet and all these guys. Yeah, there you go. take that. Uh, fantastic take logic there, Kondian. <laughs> he spent 590 million and is in his fourth full season. 
factually what Ahmed said is still incorrect because by his fourth full season he had the Premier League and the Champions League while spending less money. We are simply responding for oh, oh. okay, okay. oh. clubs different situations because market differences compared to 2016 and 2020. You cannot compare club versus Arteta at all. Yeah, I wasn't the one comparing them, they were the one comparing them. I was simply responding. Big up to you, Sticky. Uh, why I think Klopp's reign was a failure is because Liverpool fans kept keep putting eight or nine players in the Premier League all-time eleven whilst only getting one Premier League. I don't care what other Liverpool uh, fans do, mm. I only put one Liverpool player. In, in the all-time Premier League 11, and he had, he never even played under Klopp. Big up to Comdian, says, my Arteta legacy question made it to a second show. Great question, Comdian, great question. How many managers pass Bob Paisley then? 20 titles. Not many, not many. I think he's better than Ferguson. Big up to you, Andrew. So much fraudulent behavior on the panel. From now, the team at the top are the favorites. They are in control. Come on, you Gunners. Exactly. And, and you know, Saad finally was a man, man enough to say it, which I respect. Big up to you, Jerome. Uh, you're wrong. My prediction was beat United, we win the league. Okay. And that's why I said we need to give ourselves margin for error, yet no one wanted to listen. So when I say shit, next time take pen and paper, write down, write down what I say, because what I say about my club, I know what I'm saying. Am it's I not Amarozzi's right? fault yeah. that you, got, you guys couldn't beat a team with relegation it's zone metrics. It's not his yeah. fault. He trusted your team to be good enough to be a, a team that has relegation zone metrics. Yeah, go yeah. look at our stats. Nice. Other than points, Bro, everything else is really zone metrics. Who is Willy? The disrespect on Sadio by LFC fans is criminal. No one's disrespecting him. He's exactly. simply never, That's the he simply one, never man. carried the Liverpool Football Club. It's a fact. He, carried him, man. he never carried Seriously. us. And my logic for the word carry anyway remains consistent. You cannot carry Mane did not carry Salah. He did not carry Firmino. He did he not was, carry Van, van Dijk. He did he not was, carry Trent. He did not carry Allison. You cannot carry world class players. Big up to Murad who says, I've never seen Sam so rattled as today. I've been rattled plenty of times before. Today, I'm actually not rattled. I'm just responding to their points. Bro, you ain't big... seen him on Football Wars, bro. Football Wars, I've seen this guy screaming at his phone, bro. This ain't rattled. Pep around telling him you love him just because you are bald as well doesn't mean he'll be friends with you. Oh, Pep, I love you. I actually watched that video. Pep fully ignored him as well. That's the funny No, part. no, he, he, he nodded at Look him. Look at me. Uh, oh, bro, he, he looked, looked at him. They made eye contact. Don't really try and take that away from him. Because in the summer, I met Ten Hag at the hotel and he waved at me. Wallah, I wish I could go back, bro, and just slap him for that. Because he was like, I was like, Ten Hag, and he, was, he went like this. Wallah, I, I regret it, bro. I regret it. I used to be Ten Hag in at the time. I fucking hate that. We're going to move on to the Chelsea section before we wrap up. Big up to you. Uh, big up to Nilpal says, Sad, go and rewind the video and listen what you said. Hey, Nilpal doesn't lie. He knows exactly what, what he heard. Guys. There's 1,950 people, almost 2,000 people watching us right now. We haven't hit 1,000 likes yet. Let us hit 1,000 li likes right now, ASAP. This is you watching us, you get me? This is the live chat right here. I want you to hit this X button. I want you to hit this like button right here. Yes, I like my own videos. Yes, I like my own videos. So please yeah, like quick, the video. Yes, like Speaking of X, now. I got to exit, exit out of the, 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 the yeah. show. Big up to everyone because I, I got to go grab Iftar with my family. Um, so big up to everyone. Thank you for having me. Uh, exactly. Please do me a favor, though, and cook Chelsea. I need Hamza. I need everyone to cook Chelsea. I need you yeah. guys to cook Enzo, uh, Enzo as well, uh, because if you saw on my Twitter, uh, his highlights look like the guy that sings that Romanian song. Da dum la dum la da da la dum la yeah. dum la da da. That's what he does though in the, on the pitch. Zero dribbles completed. Zero duels won. Zero. I don't know what else. The guy is an absolute joke, bro. Peace. Big up to you, Staffy. Anyway. Uh, Final two super chat, Hamza, before we move to Chelsea. Final two. Hamza, you disrespected Mo. You brought up Mane in 2024. No. My brother, this guy is not even the best no, player. Listen, 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 let me tell you. Like, make it make this sense. Is How is Taliska better than you? Yet he carried Liverpool. Yet he, wallahi, I give up sometimes. Listen, this the, problem is, the problem is, you have, Mo is a good player. The yes, problem is the words that you use are, are stupid. But, but Mane was key for your team. Okay. okay, I agree okay. with now, that. Now, I agree with that. I have no problem with what you say. You have That's to give me credit. Okay, this Hamza. is when he left and you struggled. Hamza, can I can I say can I, I respond? When you say Mane is key, no problem. Yes, Mane was key. There's a difference between Mane was key and Mane carried Liverpool. No, he didn't. Mane is a, was a workhorse for the Liverpool press. You finished fifth. Once again, yeah. no one is undermining what Sadio Mane done for Liverpool. I said, if you actually go watch the intro as we conceded the first goal, I said. Sadio Mane, 1920. If we had that version of him this year, we would have been league champions. No one's disrespecting that. You cannot just you, but you cannot claim he carried us. He did not. Virgil Van Dijk was second in the Ballon d'Or that year. 
Big up I think Man, says, Man United players today really win the game, 100%. Those chances. It's okay to be rattled. Sam Arteta started uh, 26th uh, uh, December. Wow. Americans are the only ones who write the month first. It always throws me off. You know what I thought? I was like, yo, which month is the 26th month? I was so confused. But then I realized, okay. Um, he came 8th, 8th, 5th, 2nd, and this season, which is, once again, it proves that Ahmed's point is actually wrong by definition. Firmino oh, was more important than yeah. Mane, says Andrew. Hey, fair enough. If, if that's your opinion, Andrew, I have no problem with that. Big up to, to Bobby Firmino. We miss him too, you best believe. I mean, Firmino and Mane are clear of the other three that we have up top. Anyway, make sure you guys are liking and subscribing. Let's get to a thousand likes. Mods, keep pushing it, please. We want to get to a thousand likes while live. Uh, anyway, you know, we've been here cooking me for drawing to my biggest rival. You know, there's a football club here that literally has drawn to Sheffield United. But they also did what your club wasn't able to do today. But we move. Who? Chelsea did to United. What you were unable to do to United. So. How many things did we do this season that Chelsea were unable to do? You know how you know the, how long that list is. <laughs> I'm just pointing out the facts. Um, you want to throw Chelsea under the bus? They were able to beat it? Ten Hag. That's fun. You know how you haven't been is. able to beat Ten Hog. so that's fine. That's fine. Cool. That's true. You oh. weren't able to beat Gary oh, O'Neill. Go ahead, Ahmed. Talk to me about uh, Chelsea. <sighs> Ah, Darian you know is mean? a great manager. You know what I mean? It's, a, it's another day at <laughs> it's another day at the office. You know, man. Big up, you know what I mean? Big up, you know, Chelsea. Uh Why honestly, you man. You drew to Sheffield. Why you smile? Bro, man, listen, you need to be happy, man. This is my second season going through with the same thing. So, like, I don't know what you want me to do. Like, like the whole time, bro. Like, I don't know what you want me to do. Like, I think with Chelsea, like, I'm used to this. I told you guys uh, on the previous stream that Chelsea, the biggest Man United, Arsenal, even Man City, you know, we can play these guys. You know what I mean? They can rise to those occasions. But our Man City will always be a Sheffield, a Burnley. And we, you, you, every single time you see it, that's what happens, bro. So why am I surprised? Like, I, 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 people want me to be sad. I'm not going to get sad over Chelsea because they're doing this every other week. So I'm not going to, you know, waste my emotions on them first and foremost. Secondly, in regards to the game itself, we were playing basketball football with these guys. Essentially, going end-to-end, -end, no defense, transitional football. We were giving them multiple chances. We were giving them, we were creating chances, or as I like to call them, half chances. Palmer today was playing in the 10. That he wasn't as good as he usually is, in my personal opinion. But, you know, I can at least give him a, uh, uh, you know, um, a Levi or like a, a, a leeway because he's been playing good the majority of the season for us. You know, today, Pochettino decided to play Gallagher on the left wing, which today, I'm confused. I don't know what, I don't know what he was thinking there. What was the tactics behind that? But even then, that shouldn't matter because the team that we had out there should have been able to beat Sheffield United and they did not. Now, you know, at the end of the day, when it comes down to it, you know, I can criticise all these players. You know, I can say the same shit as I always do. You know, oh, you know, um, Jackson, not clinical enough. You know, uh, Manoweke inconsistent, but I can he still still scored a goal when it when we wanted to get the lead. Gallagher does what he does best. Caicedo, you know, I just feel sorry for that guy. I honestly do. Like you know, alone in the middle of the pitch, you know, no one's there, no one's anywhere for him. Just dying there, you know, and he's not even helping himself as well at times. Um, we've got a guy like Enzo Fernandez that's, that could be basically a deep line playmaker, but we're playing him like a road runner, and even his performance today wasn't good either. So there's that. Today we had Caliber playing right back. Do you, or sorry, I think it's either sorry, disaster, I should say playing right back. Is there no one in the academy? No one in the Chelsea Academy, the Cobham Academy, you know, one of the best apparently in the world. And yet they cannot find me a right back that can play one game against Sheffield United to give Gusto the rest. You can't find me, you can't find someone that can just do a job, overlap a winger for me. No. Like, you know, I can say the same thing. Def defense has been the same all the time. We're just getting banged, crashed on. They're winning headers on us. They're just violating us. You know what I mean? It's the same shit week in, week out. Petrovic now is shook because the defense in front of him is not good. So he's now making rush decisions, which is costing us games as well. So listen, man, I'm. Uh, this is just me cooking the players. You know, I can say Pochettino out. I can, you know, I can say that every single time. I can say I want him out, get him out. You know what I mean? Everything like that. But the problem at Chelsea for me now is it runs deeper. 
it runs deeper. That's the problem for me. And I've said that before. So listen, man, I'm used to this. You know, I mean, if you want to, you know, start hitting me with the haymakers, you're free to do so. Yeah, let me go. <clears throat> The yes, Hamza. Go ahead. Okay, the, the thing is, Ahmed, yeah. let's see if you're laughing now. Go ahead, Hamza. I always laugh, believe me. I, I'm a, I'm, I, I, you know me. Alhamdulillah. May you, inshallah, always be happy. Go ahead. Thank you very much. It, it, it's becoming embarrassing now. Like, literally. Like, this club should be relegated. If they didn't have Cole Palmer, they would be relegated. You will be in the championship. I know you're smiling, Ahmed, but I swear, you will be in the championship. The little boy from lying, man. the academy has carried your whole football club. Otherwise, you will be in the championship. Now, fact, you'll be 18. Yeah, you're struggling to a 19th place team with 10 men, and then you made excuses. And now you're struggling to a 20th team, a team that Arsenal thumped eight. You're struggling to them. You spend a billion, a billion pounds. It's becoming ridiculous. Your midfielders are probably the worst midfielders in Premier League history in terms of money spent, Caicedo and Enzo. It, it, it's appalling. It's disgusting. It's disgusting beyond belief. Like, it's shameful. Like, how do you go to a Chef Burnley last week? Ten men. Craig Bellamy. Not even the manager there. And in Stamford Bridge. And they walk all over. You pepper you around. And they could have won it. And now you're facing a 20th position. I think it's going to be relegated. Like, that everyone laughs at Chef. Everyone looks forward. To Sheffield United. You know Sheffield United, you don't eat them. It's like ice cream. You just game over done. I've enjoyed that ice cream. That was a nice sweet one. It isn't a struggle. That was a nice taste. You don't want to say you look forward to the ice cream. You're like, yo, yeah, I'm fasting, so don't start casting me about why does he have ice cream at one o'clock in the morning, bro? I'm fasting. Shame on you guys. Listen, it's shameless that Enzo should be ashamed of himself. Enzo, you went out there. Oh, look at Enzo. He fought with Mason Mount. Oh, bro, have some shame. When you beat United, it was a lucky win. It was a lucky win. United should have won that game. Fact. Mount, the reason why you're there, you don't have Mason Mount. Enzo is not Mason Mount. Oh, my Enzo, God. That is... I'm sorry, Mason. my brother. I am, I'm sorry, Hamza. I have to, I have to interject here. No, I have to... Why did you interject when he was waffling about Liverpool? Let him talk. No, 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 no. no. On this one, I have to talk. Let him do Mason Mount prop. Go ahead. Go ahead. The problem is Enzo is not Mason Mount. Hassan, I was so shocked. Hassan, you know one thing that this club don't have is shame. Hassan, how can you boo on a boy who played for the academy? Yeah, played for the badge. Kiss the badge. Won you a Champions League or some? Or some, or some won you the Champions League? He's back. And they refused to give him the contract that Darius James had. They backtracked on him. Mistreated him. The owners made a mockery of him and turned the fans against him. That's what you get from putting down Mason Mount. You would love to have Mason Mount now. You would love to have... Because Mason Mount is better than Enzo. Mason Mount is best. Go you top four. Whether you like it or not, fact, guys. Fact. I swear to God, Mason Mount scored the free kick to get them the top four. I got my Champions okay. League. I got my Champions League. He he got he, he then Atletico Champions Madrid. League. Mason Mount is not a bad player. Mason Mount, you think Enzo would go to Atletico Madrid? Well, lie. Tell me, would would Enzo ever hit that level Mason Mount did? When he was dunking Atletico Madrid, when he dunked at Real Madrid, when he came and beat Man City, do you think Enzo would do that? No chance, zero chance, never. Because Enzo is not that, that guy. He's struggling to Sheffield United. <laughs> Mason Mount must be not people. What a donkey! You spend hundred million on that guy. <laughs> you spend hundred million on that donkey like that. That cannot do anything. Running around like head, bro. It's a shame that he's a Chinchini. Literally. Yeah, and then you got Caicedo. You bought from Brighton. Twice you go, twice you got done over. Cucurella, <laughs> you paid sixty-five million, and you paid one hundred and ten million on Brighton because you wanna be Brighton. That's all you wanna be now. You call yourself blue. You should call yourself blue seagulls. Take even their patch, but they'll be ashamed of you because the way you're playing, they're playing better than you. If we didn't give you Copama this today, yeah. You never won today. He assisted for Madwekisko. 
You be a system at the workers go. This is shameful. You can't keep making excuses. Oh, it's Pochettino. It's not Pochettino anymore. It's the players. Pochettino does not need to coach team to beat Sheffield United. I'm sorry. Pochettino doesn't need to motivate players to beat Burnley 10 men. We don't believe that story. We don't believe that story anymore. We don't believe that. Enzo is a fraud. He picked up Mason Mount, a fight on Mason Mount, to look good. But the fight that he should be picking, pick on your people on your own sides. Sheffield United and Burnley. What do you pick on them? Come on, pick. Why? Because you lose the fight. He can't do it on the pitch. He, he called, he kissed the badge and said, you should have stayed. Mason Mount shouldn't have stayed there now, looking back. I'm sorry. My, Manchester United will do better than his worst Manchester United team. 100%. See, Chelsea fans have no shame. Ask for some. For some, let me ask you a question. A player wins you the Champions League, leaves you. Well, I would, I, well, I don't, no way Liverpool would do that. Would Liverpool boo if Mason Man had won you the Champions League? Well, I, no, but well, I live for fans. I don't like Liverpool. Prop, no. what, one second. Well, I, no, one second. He came from Liverpool, born in Liverpool. I'll give you an example. I've got player. Did you blue McManaman? Did you boo? You don't. Did you boo McClough? You don't. He played for United. Liverpool fans have got class. Chelsea fans booed in the whole Stamford Bridge. The only person you should be booing if he leaves you for the rivals, if you went to Tottenham. This is the problem. Where does the mistake lie? In? Your owners are fools. They spent a project of, this is project, this is project. Who's that guy that you go down over from Abu Dhabi and go, go smuggle to a U, US? What's that, what's that guy called? The one who used to show helicopters taking pictures that he's got this helicopter, what's his name? That, that guy. Uh, uh, sugar puppy, what's the name? <laughs> what's the name? Ooh, ooh. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> sugar, sugar, a sugar puppy is crazy, bro. What's sugar name? puppy what is, is nuts. Yeah, bro, it's the worst project in history. Well, lying in sports history, I've never seen. And you know what, Mo? Uh, guess what? You have to lower your expectation. Now. You have to lower expectation because. Your football club, now you can't cure it. Now you can't cure it. Sacking Pochettino will not help you. Now, I don't know whether you've got 40 points. Have you got 40 points? Yeah, you've got 44 points. But you've got three goal difference. Three. Three goal difference. Three plus three. Jackson is what, probably one of the worst strikers I've ever seen. One of the worst strikers I've seen in my life. Yeah? You should have had Lukaku back. You should have kept Mason Mount back. You should have put Kyle Havertz back. You regret it. Jorginho, you regret those four players you sold. Fact. I put money there. Deep down, you cost them. But Lukaku will do a better job than, than, than Jackson. Kai Havertz will do a better job than Mudrik. Mason Mount will do a better job than Enzo. All those players, Jorginho will do a better player than Caicedo. Fact. It, listen, you can cost them as much as... All those players will put Chelsea... You're laughing. You used to cry being fifth. Now, you, you said to us, it's normal. It's normal to be 10. Why should I be depressed? Now, Enzo, that's the project. Project Enzo and Project Caicedo is expected to be 10. And you, you come out here, I don't see what's the difference. What have you done this year? What's an achievement? All you will tell me is I'm going to the FA Cup semi-final. You go to the FA Cup semi-final. You go to the Carabao Cup final. That's going to be the next couple of years because... Now you're finished. I'm sorry to say that. The only way for you to come back is you have to invest and you're under FFP investigation. You're under FFP investigation because no one's going to buy Enzo. No one's going to buy Corsedo. No one wants Kukurena. All those players by the Chile, the Sassi, who will buy them? Who's going to buy them? Who will buy them? They're worthless now. It's a big, Enzo's not worth more than 40, 40, 30, 40 million. Sam, how much is Enzo worth? I believe he's worth 20, 30 million. Not more than 20, 30 million. Probably 30 million right now. Caicedo, 20, 30 million. There you are. And I'm telling you as a fan that I feel sorry for Chelsea fans. You don't deserve this unless you take your owners now. The owners have to come and apologize to Chelsea fans. And Mason Mount. And what you did to Mason Mount? Literally a disgrace. A disgrace. that I couldn't believe it. And we will never do that, Cole Palmer. We clapped on Jesus when he came back. We clapped on Copa when he came back. We clapped for Cancelo because we have class. But guy came from your academy. How can you boo the guy? That's me, Dan. All right. Um, 
I'm just gonna, you know, I mean, I just there's a lot of um, inconsistencies and lies that have been said. I'm just gonna start with the Mount stuff in it, yeah. And I'm gonna, I'm, I will maintain this. The first two seasons of Mount, and I and I've always backed this, 1920 and then 2021, and then slightly, and I think the sorry, the second season under um, uh, no, 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 that's not the season, sorry. But those first two seasons, Mount was a good player. I always maintained that he was doing the stuff that I appreciate about him, and I always thought he was a good player. Let's not get that twisted. But the season, the season after the UCL, the the season where he got the twenty GNA, yeah. If you actually looked at that season, he had actually declined. He had been overplayed. This is something that I've said a, a lot about him pre, on, on, on previously. You know, when it comes to my, overplayed, yes, he got twenty GNA, but the half of those came from Norwich and Southampton, and I think there's another an, another three clubs. So in total, he got all of that from four different clubs. The, the next season, he obviously had multiple injuries and stuff that had also happened to him as well. And it is what it is. Now, what happened with him at the club is something, you know, entirely. I don't really care what, what is bygones is bygones for me when it comes to Mount. Now, if they want to boo him, let them boo him. I don't care. For me, you know, we've moved on from him. That's what matters. You know, people get into someone and say, well, what are you booing? Why not? It's up to those fans. Those fans are comparing their money. him to Phil Foden, though. I have never compared him to Phil Foden. If those guys... That's a lie. In the Foden, first two years, all Chelsea fans were booing Wallahi, him. I never. I'm telling you now, I Don't know for sure. Allah. 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 No, because I know, I know about him. Because I've never you were comparing. You never. Know, I have. You can check my tweets. You can check everything. I know for sure. I've never compared him to that. For me, the biggest thing that every, if you know about man, that I've always appreciated that everyone's appreciated about. Havertz and Mount are doing better at the respective football clubs right now. And so. uh, there's reasons for that. I would say this, this, uh, not necessarily Mount. I'll say, but with Havertz, there's slightly a bit more reasons for that. But which I will give credit for. But the reality is, Jackson, the guy that people are cooking, the guys that people are cussing about. Has the same if I think it's just got either the same or one more goal than Nick uh, than than Kai Havertz. So what's changed? You know what I mean? You know we can cuss out you know we can cuss out Jackson all we want, but if he's producing the same numbers that you know Kai Havertz produced, what, what what are we saying then? What are we saying well, then? Well, are, are we saying that he's a bad player? So for me, fundamentally, the, the, just let me just finish these ones and I'll let you go, bro. Yeah, honestly. go ahead, bro. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, because like for me, fundamentally, I can say. Yes, Kai have slightly improved the Arsenal. I don't mind saying that. But at the same time, he, if if Jackson's giving me the same amount of that he was that Kai Havertz is giving me, I don't really, I don't really see that as a problem. Honestly, it's it's just the reality of the situation. Whether you want to whether you want to admit that or not. Now, Jorginho, I like Jorginho. So you know, for me, that's not a problem for me. Yes, we lost a good asset piece, but if he was not going to sign for us, by the way, uh, then Hamza, there's Ziyad no point here from the masjid to cook you. Oh my God, oh, my. <laughs> Hamza, Ahmed, big up Ahmed, say pot out quick, just real quick, man. Yeah. Say pot out. Oh my goodness, say pot out, Hamza. Just yeah. say it, man. I just said pot out. What's wrong with you, bro? Yeah, quick. Jorginho, you were yeah. going on a little bit. No, no, no. I'm um, talk about Jorginho is a good player, but sadly he didn't want to sign of us. Oh, the club didn't want to sign of him, and we just had to move him on. That's what it was, bro. And again, you know who's the other person that you mentioned? I know you mentioned Havertz. Hamza, are you hiding from Ziad? Wow. Can we speak? Jordini. Can we speak about Enzo? Can you speak about Enzo? No, bro? Sad, yes. you, you as well, bro. Bro. No, I need to speak, speak about me, Enzo because I'm Enzo was horrific this game. Horrific. Well, like, I horrific, said that to you, bro. Man. I, I, I know. Was, listen, was, bro. I think it was, for me, it was the fundamental. I wanted to rip my eyes out, bro. Okay, listen. All right, we're doing a bit too much. There. I think Enzo has been performing below what he's meant to be doing. There's no denying that for me. I can agree to that. I think if you ask a lot of Chelsea fans. They will be the same. Now, we can always say, as I always say, part of it is the part of it is the responsibility of the player, the player themselves. But the second part I always add is the player in a system that is allowing them to produce, you know, and giving them the right environment to at least release their talent. And the reality of the situation is with both him and to uh to a similar extent with Caicedo, I think that's just the reality of the situation. But we can also say they themselves are not performing as well. That's all it is. But if for me, I think it's a bigger indictment on Enzo and Caicedo if they were in a good system that was, you know, giving them all of their benefits that they that they like to do as players and they weren't performing. For me, that's even a bigger indictment. But we're not even giving them that system. But in games, uh, okay, Ahmed, with all due respect, I can't lie because Hamza was spitting there for a hot second, and Diad, I know he's here. I don't know what he's here to do. Uh, no, I'm, I'm here. But I'm here I'm just to shit, Hold man. on. Don't don't scream! Don't scream, brother! You just come I'm out of message. You in a minute, man. You just you just said you should come out of message. You just don't uh, yeah, no, relax. It's okay. Alaikum, um. So, <laughs> so, so uh, Hamza said something important there. For for us, for me, Arsenal, 
for Chelsea, for Liverpool, Man United, these uh, these clubs, Man City, these big clubs, Liverpool. You know what I mean? Uh, these big clubs. If you go, oh, if you go away to Sheffield, you go to Burnley. These are bottom feeder teams. You don't need to rely on. Oh, I need the system to get the best thing out of my pl-. bro. Your players, just from the quality that you have on the pitch, should be able to go and do something. Regardless of the system, of how it complements the players, maybe if you don't smack them, I can understand that. But if you're if you're literally getting dunked on, Sheffield today had so much XG. I think it was you had zero point nine two. They had three point twenty two XG. They dominated the side. Saturday dominated that, bro. What is that, bro? Oh, bro, 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 I don't know if you heard me in the beginning, bro. But I already said it's regardless of system. We should have won that game. It's irregardless of system that we should win, win that game. But I this the, is more aimed, Ahmed. This isn't aimed at you. This is more aimed yeah. at Ziad because I know yeah, he's sad. here. So when, so I know he's going to make excuses. I know he's going to make excuses. Ready? Listen. When Arsenal slapped bloody Sheffield seven 0 six 0 whatever it was, you don't credit Arteta, no. You don't credit him. You like, oh fuck the manager. The players did but everything. Brother, Listen, no, no, no. no. That, when the, that's when the expected. Players, what do you mean it's expected? What do you want the no. players to do, bro? If we went we out no there, we if got, Arteta, we got no right back. Listen, we have no players, bro. If Arteta, why are you still right this start, bro? Yeah, I wanna. No, no, because I wanna because say these guys I, are always making excuses. Yeah. They actually, no, 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 no. Actually... So, so for me, so for me, I wanna again. Actually, it's the other way. They are not making excuses. They say fuck this manager, get him out. The players are not good. Me. You are the most fault. No, most fault. the manager. Let me, one second. Let me, let me just continue quickly. Yeah? Let me just continue. For me, fundamentally, I already know the players are not at the you know elite level. You know what I'm saying to you? This is something I've said to you guys previously. They're already not at the elite level. Right? So, so for me, the, I, the reason why these guys have been brought in this role is for them to actually... He no, I no. swear, bro. He loves no. doing this, bro. Just, oh, I'm going to here. I'm going to go on the side. Doing doing the players. What are you talking I'm about? Just... What? I'm... No, but anyway, yeah. I'm saying what are you the talking players, about? Yeah. yeah. So for me, <laughs> so for me, I already know the players are not good enough, but the reason why they're here is that they need to be improved over time so that they can really just reach this level. And that's why we brought in Poch, right? Now, they are not doing that necessarily on the pitch. Maybe one or two of them, like Palmer and Gusto, have, have done that. But the rest of them, the ones that we have brought to reach their so-called potential, has not happened. Now, we can blame them, of course, and their performances on the pitch. But at the same time, and I will always say this, if the, if the system is not built for them as well, then we have to also look at the man at, the, the man that's leading them. The man, we have to look at him too. And I think, yeah, the ownership point that has... Um, that, um, I f- just forgot his name. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Wow, um, you're just laughing sad like my that. Apologies. Stuff. No, 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 not sad. It was the um, my, my other um, Hamza. Hamza, Hamza made, yeah. yeah he can hold I that. I think it's valid, which I think <laughs> is valid to do with the ownership. Now, I think for me, the directors of football have been failures, in my opinion. And the idea of buying under 23 players and the idea that of buying under three players is a good idea. I like the idea. You know what I'm saying to you? I like the idea personally. But when you're buying these guys, you also have to have some level of experience alongside them to help them reach that level as well. And that's a big failing. But that's a big failure on them too. Now, I want to add one more thing here into that. But, but so, can I just say one thing on that point? Ahmed, you see how ahead, I kept bro. it consistent? Remember what, what Mo asked me about Kaiseido and Endo? I said, yes, Endo's playing well, but I genuinely deep down believe Kaiseido would have played well. Why? I've always said mm-hmm. this to Ziad, but he just doesn't get me. If mm-hmm. if if Kaiseido walks into Liverpool, yeah, there is Salah, Trent, Van Dijk, Alisson, exactly, you know, yes. it's the way. You know, mm-hmm. it's not like Kaiseido walks in and Chelsea looks to his right, this guy knows nothing. Looks to his left, this guy yeah. knows nothing. That's I know, bro, and I think I I, I hear and so I think part of the problem oh, and part of that problem I would say to you, bro. Yeah, and I've said this before is that a lot of the players that we had to sell in that previous summer wanted to leave as well. Well, they want to admit, and like that's something I think rival fans don't understand why that we had that massive sale of so many players because a lot of them didn't want to be at the club. Sadly, that's what it was. That's why Havertz left. That's why you know um, Kovacic. You name them. You know a lot of them all left the club basically because they don't want to be there. So we, we were left with this young squad, and they sadly chose Pochettino, and you know he's not helped the situation. The players themselves are not also helping themselves with their performances on the pitch as well. That's what that's what it comes down to for me. If we want to turn the situation around, 
hopefully in the summer we're buying some level of experience. Now, when I say experience, it doesn't mean need to be age, but playing experience. Guys that know how to get the job done. That's what I will say. Secondly, sack the ownership, in, not the ownership, sorry, the directors of football and bring in guys that know how to do the job properly and understand squad building a lot better. And thirdly, I know you guys don't know as much, but we're trying to be, like, buy, buy other clubs. You know that stupid multi-club model? Calm yeah. down of that and the buying of the under-23 stuff, right? Buy the clubs first. You already have Strasbourg. If you're going to finish up the sport in Lisbon deal, finish that stuff. Get those guys stuff. And then if you want to do the buying the under-23s, I don't care afterwards. Do that with those clubs now. But, Ahmed, but first, I mean, this is the problem. Ahead, this is the mm -hmm. problem, though, yeah? This is the Go problem ahead, that bro. I have with the pot shouters that are saying, oh, just, uh, just get pot shout now. Yeah, Poch originally coming into this job got done dirty from the start. No, he didn't. Because he asked, it, it, he asked, he asked, he asked for experienced centre striker. He asked oh, for some experienced players. Okay. He asked for some experienced players, and they didn't get it for him. So I think Broken the out. full ownership, the there's ownership, a bit of a the majority of the blame. If I may, if I may yeah, there's actually you know a bit more of about a major. Club than me. Yeah, there's a major just... inconception of this, yeah, that I know I've heard a lot of people say this, even some of my own fans have said this before. Pochettino had a two-month interview with the club. The club informed him of the players they were going to sign. The club informed him of the transfer policy. The club did a lot of stuff with him such that he knew what was what he was coming into the moment he signed, you know, his surname, Pochettino, onto that contract. You know what I'm saying to you? So he already knew all of what he was coming into. Why... When he when when I hear him make these excuses, I'm like, I can't accept that because. But Ahmed, you can I ask you a question? question? Very question, just on that point right there. Very Go important ahead, question. Mm -hmm. Okay, have you ever thought why haven't they sacked him yet on a real? I know it. why they haven't sacked him. I know why they haven't sacked him. Why? It's because Tell sadly me. this club, yeah, it's not like under Roman. They are trying to do the PR thing, basically. That's the reality of the situation, bro. You, you, Our you club is what, PR you know what you should really worry about as a Chelsea fan, and this is where it goes yes. back to the whole Todd Bowley stuff. Mm -hmm. If, if they, if if they're maybe they're just looking at Chelsea right now and going like, we actually expected to be here. Have you ever thought? Of that I know crazy? they. I, I, I have a sneaky suspicion, bro. They love that the Brighton model, by the way. To not be amazing yeah, yeah. They so basically they they have the Brighton model. If you don't know this, right? So the Brighton that's what they're trying to go for essentially, or the RB Leipzig. Model. That's why we got that guy from RB Leipzig last last year, if you remember last season. So they're trying to do, recreate yeah. that on a large scale. That's why they're buying Strasbourg. That's why they're trying to buy a minority stake in Sport Lisbon. So I already know all of this is happening. So for me, the thing I would I had always hoped for as a fan. Yeah, was that maybe we're going to be like an RB Leipzig plus plus where it's actually a successful system where they allow Chelsea to be the main guy that actually winning the trophies and these other clubs are being built up where they can sell their players. That was always maybe the hope I have, but I'm not so sure now, bro, because the the thing for me, and I've said this to you, remember, I think he's going to stay this season, by the way. I know people don't believe that even after this result against, um, what's it called, that he's got, he's going to stay next season because the other teams around us, sadly, in the mid table, are also crumbling alongside us. And somehow, that's going to allow us to fumble into some level of 6th or 7th into Carabao or Conference League football. That's what's going to happen, bro. I can see it in my own eyes already. I can see it. I can see it happening. And once that happens... It's actually ninth it's right now. Loki, that ain't even that bad. Bro, no, but look, 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 it's bad. Listen, and uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Newcastle, if you win, you're 8th. That's not bad. Yeah. That's where I yeah. predicted. I'm, I'm going to okay you, 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 Look, look at even West Ham. <laughs> no, no, but like, I know Ziad doesn't like to hear this, but I don't I don't like to hear this either. Okay, but look, you, if, you're, if you're these guys, but but if you look at these guys and their statistic, you know, metric guys, they're going to be like, look, if he gets that, that means, look, he's won the season. Yeah, you know what it is? You know what it is, uh, Ahmed? So I'm saying being to you, bro. Really serious. I mm -hmm. think... And, and, and you know, this is, I know this is like a very extreme example because it's like... I know, bro. But I fully believe deep down, had had you just got, had you just had Erling Haaland alone, you'd be like fourth right now. No exaggeration. What? I know what you mean. What? I agree. I agree with that. Well, Mala, what, what are you not talking mean? about? He's we basically have, trying to second, say that the second. chances we, we had. Team, put up yeah. I wouldn't even go that far. No, no, no. We just set up a team I, I, I would say if they had a left wing or right wing, oh, and we have no left wing or right wing, and we have bloody right backs. And we have none of them there. And all of a sudden, Ziad, one striker is going to get us there. You're miss Wait, no, no, but Ziad, you're missing You're missing one key attacker that can actually finish. I would even go as far as say, forget Haaland. 
Yeah, if they keep Nicholas Jackson up front, if they just had Mane, Mane from 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 2019 onwards, if they had Sadio Mane and they put him in that left wing, they're probably four fifth. Yeah, he's, well, you're not in a big, you're not in a big scoring, shot. He's man. scoring the amount of chances you create to the amount of chances that you actually turn into goals. It's crazy. Would you mean that one idea? Sheffield United are better than us. Hosam, I wonder if I want to add yeah. Uh Listen, I know these guys, like, obviously we're missing Lavia this season and we've missed Nkuku the majority of the season too. Now, those guys, I would say they're very big players for us. You know, if I even if I was to give, like, you know, pot some level of, like, tiny levity, I'd be like, we're, we're missing that, that so-called big man of the team in Nkuku. And Lavia probably could would have been, you know, his, his ideal lone six. The guy that would have been the low six, and then he could have maybe played Caicedo and even uh, Enzo in their eight positions, which maybe make more sense. For them. Maybe you can make the argument for. But at the end of the day, it's neither neither here nor there. I just want to. There's like a little super chat saying that the um, the club sold them out because they want 24 year old talent. That's we, we, we're gonna get to the super chats now. Shall we just read them and yeah. then wrap up and call us? Because we've been here yes. for a long time anyway. Yeah. Yeah. My God, so Mo, all Mo, this is all I don't know, man. But I want to no, before, the before you finish, bro. Man, all these are full. No, no. Mo, listen, I know. I want to say something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. why, yeah. bro? Don't do no, this, even bro. Mo. Like, new this guy every day watch out, bro. Watch out, Look at Mo. I want to say one more thing. You're fraud. One thing I want to also say yeah, is that. Yeah. I wanna. I wanna make one more point. Yeah. I wanna make one more point. The end of I said there is. Listen, I feel like, yeah, we as Chelsea fans at times, we have an unhealthy obsession with, with Mason Mount. We need to just let go, boys. You know, every time I hear about this guy, I'm like, listen, this guy's gone. Why are we talking about him, bro? Honestly, for me, that's what it is for me, man. He's gone. Move on, bro. Like, you know what I mean? I can't, we, we can't bring him back. All right, just move oh, on. The most needy player as well, well, Ahmed. Bro. Why, yeah, yeah, let me... Why, bro? It's actually annoying me, bro. Me, 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 the guy's not been good, good it's move Guys, on, let man. me just read the super chat. It's two hours and a half. This is Oppenheimer. This okay. no longer football stream. Yeah. <laughs> this is Oppenheimer. Khalas. <laughs> <laughs> this second now. Guys, still 1,400 people in here. Make sure you guys are liking and subscribing. Hey. Pick up to Diana. Some of you LFC fans have no shame. Ungrateful. My brother... There is a difference between saying a player was important for us and he carried us. Wallahi, I don't understand what's so difficult to understand. Yeah, I don't understand. I will never even say Salah carried us. Yeah, no one carried this club team because it has multiple good players, bro. Big up to uh, uh, my guy, uh, Redline Tarango says, the biggest moment in your club's history belongs to us. Sit on the floor, Jacob. This is a fact. Harry Kane walked across from the Champions League medal. You get me? That was won by Liverpool. Sad is laughing. Uh, you know who he was supporting Liverpool that day. That's the funny part. Big up to you, Redline Taranga. Wow. Let's not act that people don't bring Mo down to, to big up Mane. Yeah, of course they do. They've been doing this for the longest time, brother. This ain't nothing new. It's always like, oh, Salah. You know, Mo Salah is, you know, we are not the same since Sadio Mane. Like, as if it's Mo Salah's fault. Like, we haven't won. Like, bro. The guy scored like about 19 goals that season in the crappest Liverpool team in the club era. Mo, you exposed yourself on the Jesus penalty. Shame. Anything you want 100% to say, Mo? 100% he did. 100% Mo did. 100%. Why? And he corrected himself. What do you mean he exposed myself? Because you thought it wasn't a penalty. That was fraudulent. Heavily. Really heavily, you think so? Yes, it was clear. So if it was clear as clear as, as well? day, it was clear as day. How, how is it as Mo, clear as day? Mo, because how is it as clear as day? Because you have to have control of the ball if you get it. It's not no, just you, you don't. Touch the ball. It's not, do you yes, think it is. if a player put his body to block the ball? Do you think that? But he didn't block it. He went in for a tackle. No, he, so that's where that's where the logic he went in and he itself. touched. The, did he touch the ball or not? Can a I ask you something? Touch, let me let me ask you something touch. clearly. If the referee didn't give it and saw the touch, you think they are would have turned it around? If the if, if the referee didn't if give the it? referee didn't give it on the pitch, do you think they are would have told the referee there is a penalty and you need to check it? Yes. Or you think yes, you they would have looked at it tell yes. him that he touched the ball. No, no, he, they would have they would have looked at it. It, it, the, the thing is, Mo, he gets a slight touch that puts the ball over. It's a very slight touch. I think it's a yeah, penalty a because I watched it. I watched it on a slow motion. Yeah, and I saw him taking off uh, Jesus. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. We, we, in the I, beginning, all I said I, it was fraudulent when you said no I, at the beginning. I don't think it's fraudulent. That's either it's fraudulent. That means I actually was speaking no sense. 
and I was literally speaking sense. To say oh. fraudulent means I wasn't speaking sense. I literally presented an argument of him touching the ball. And then when I saw it again, over and over again, I changed my mind. Same as VAR people when they watched it over and over again. Simple. Alas. So don't use the word fraudulent because you learned that new, sad. Don't. You're I've okay. been using fraudulent since you're day one. You learned that new and then you, you like to use it because it's a buzzword. They are more for you. Well, I is a fraud. Yes. Yeah, do you know uh, <laughs> Liverpool younger yeah. defender got abused online so much so he limited his comments while crazy from social media fans listen uh, whether it's uh, any 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 footballer for any football club it, this is wrong 100% you know i don't like uh, the fact that this happens i mean you know uh, at the end of the day you can't be like bullying people mm. online or saying any specifically any racist stuff or anything disrespectful that's that's uh, not good at all a big up to ponsa everyone makes mistakes Wait, the only person who shouldn't talk about FFP just talked about another club. Come on, Hamza, you're shameless, says Ed. Brother, Hamza is the most shameless human being. My clip that I played him from last week is so, it's so, such the biggest proof. Do you, yeah, you were sitting here seven days ago telling you know what's me. Crazy? Do you know what's crazy quickly, Hussam, before you finish off here? The FFP we've been investigated for is historic FFP for, for three players that we signed. Yeah, under the Roman Abramovich era. It's not even for anything currently. That's and Chelsea saying. snitched on themselves, by the way. That's the yes. that's one thing. We are the snitches. Rever reverse psychology. Reverse psychology. Yeah, this, well, week, crazy, week, man. this guy a week ago was like, big up to Liverpool <laughs> Football Club. The biggest club in England. You guys are going to win the league. Saka's Charles and Zogbia. A week later, خلص, Liverpool is West Brom. Yeah, I have some yeah, shit. Yeah, hold that clock, you piece of shit. Big up to the cat killed curiosity. <laughs> this guy is such a troll, bro. Jorginho on Mount uh, left because you're not even part it. of the. You're not even. You're not even showing your camera. Yeah. You're you, want you, wanna, you want me to show that? You want me to show that? I'm a shame. I'll say it again. On camera, no problem. So, so again, this comment here is again not true. Because sorry, can I just read it? Jorginho on Mount left because Bolly made intentions clear. He needs 25 year old, so he called uh, so called talents. Hence the experience and loyal ones left in a hurry. But he's 24 years old. So why why why, why would Mount leave? Mountain is shit, that's why. This is my again, I've told you, bro. They these there's some of these guys just obsessed completely, bro. Ahmed, move they like lying, bro. They like lying. Well, like, like, bro, like move bro, on. Rivals, people, rivals and even neutrals. You Jorginho, know the reality Mo of is neutral is... every week. Uh Edzo, uh Kaisedo, uh Mishal Arab Show. Put your eyes on the target, which is Pochettino, your mole. Please, bro. Again, eyes on the target. I was, again, Jorginho, the reason why he left is because I know the club wasn't gonna sign him, of course. And we weren't going to give him a contract, sadly. That's Jorginho would have been so helpful to your current team. I know, bro. Listen, I, again, I'm a big Jorginho fan. But if you ask the other, the other half of the Chelsea fan base, thank God he left. I'm telling you, you will hear that too. <laughs> you know it, isn't it? So that's what I'm going to say. That's it, true, because I did hear both at, at the end of the year. Yeah. Um, anyway, guys, big up to all of you guys. Thank you guys so much for joining us on yet another stream. Two hours and a half. I got cooked. You know, let's all remember this, you know. There's a guy on the stream, top left specifically, who should remember this. I got cooked an hour and 40 minutes mm. for a draw. Wallahi, Aib. Wallahi, Aib. An hour and 40 minutes, I got cooked for a draw. Pray, oh, pray, yeah. for, me if we, pray for me if we drop points, guys. Sad, you know, you, know, you, know, you know, Hamza's fraudulent. You know, next week, you play Aston Villa, صح, after Bayern. All you have to do is mm. draw. Suddenly, Aston Villa, suddenly Arsenal is the smallest club in England, and you guys are crap. And you guys are rubbing. You know what's happening. You know what's coming. I already anyway. know what's going to come, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. By the way, listen, big up to all of you guys. Thank you guys so much for joining us on yet another stream. Shout out to all the super chatters. There's too many for me to shout out. So I appreciate you all. Thank you and love. Bismillah, mashallah. Bismillah, mashallah. Uh, make sure you guys are liking the video. Make sure you guys are subscribing. This is football if you're ready to do so, guys. Every single one of you guys, please hit the like button and subscribe. A-listers is back tomorrow at 11 p.m. UK time, inshallah. So we'll be back for A-listers. Other than that, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to This Is Football if you're yet to do so. Um, we're only 20 subscribers away from 28.4K, which is our next target. So let's keep pushing 30K, inshallah, before the end of the year. So like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And all these guys' channels in the description. The Bridge, Ziad Zone, Putty Judge Mo, The Football Corner, Staffy TV, United Spurs of America, Hamza Talks Football. All of them are in the, are in the uh, description. Please go subscribe to all these great guys. Subscribe to MHF as well. Please don't think that me and Mo just made MHF and Khalas dipped. Habibi, we're going to be back. We have plans. Sit on the floor. You know, we have plans, Habibi. Just wait and see. There's, there's a lot of plans, you know, this week. So 
Love to all of you guys, and we will see you guys back tomorrow on A-listers, inshallah. Unless I decide to make like some mad rant or some shit. Yalla. <laughs>